Yeah, what's going on, Sadman? What is good? Um, was what's going on, man? How things? Grizzly? Hello? I should be hunting for a job to keep by paying my mortgage to feed myself, but then I saw Yui was going live. <laughs> it has to take priority. <laughs> I'm doing well, man. I think you should <laughs> prioritize your life a little bit more, I'm not gonna lie. But I appreciate it. Um, Mogwin Sacred Spear, best bleed Ash of War. Yeah, Mogwin Sacred Spear is broken. Um, anyway. The only reason we're doing a run with the Mogwin Sacred Spear is because it's like one of the few weapon skills that we actually yet to do a playthrough with. So that's why we're doing it now. And people are telling me about it, it's like, you should do one. I never really bothered to do one because like it's pretty easy, right? So who knows, it might actually be more challenging than I expect. Because sometimes I play like doo doo trash. What's going on? <sighs> okay, we need a name for the Dang. character. We need a name. Um, okay, so it's 14 dexterity I need and some amount of arcane. Is the bandit going to be doing that for me? I would like a little bit of faith too. Yeah. I just want like 10 faith for flame gummy strength. I guess this is like the only play. What's the um hero like? The same shit really. What's that for the bandit? That's fine. What weapon will you use to kill Moog? I mean, should I actually try and kill Moog at the beginning or should I just like use cheat engine to drop the weapon? <laughs> you look like you just woke up. I woke up like 30 minutes ago, so yeah. <laughs> what should we do? Should we just use cheat engine to drop it or should we actually try and head and kill him? You didn't put Dark Moon Greatsword in top of one? No, I put it at number two. Dark Moon Greatsword is at number two. Mm -mm. Daddy Moog. Wait, no, I forgot to change my character's looks. I cannot believe this happened. We're going in with a default skin. That's crazy. I've got a friend who's helping me to hook me up with a decent job at a bank. I don't know. That's nice. Came over on a two-week vacation. Found out I was being let go of my welding job. Oh, damn. That is not good. Hopefully the bank thing works out for you, man. Look at this stupid, pathetic character. I can't I can't play like this. This is literally unplayable. But yeah, like the Blasphemous Blade... And I, since I made a video comparing the Blasphemous Blade to the Darkman Greatsword, I did like a whole video saying, which one is better? And I had a bunch of categories, and the Blasphemous Blade ended up winning with more categories, even though I think the Darkman Greatsword... Like, for me personally, I'd rather have the Darkman Greatsword than, and than the Blasphemous Blade. Because I don't really care much for the health regen. Because I know how to not get hit. But... Because uh, <laughs> I'm very familiar with, like, you know, how to dodge certain attacks. But, like, if you're a newer player, it's pretty undeniable how helpful it actually can be. Um, we're gonna go with... Which one looks like a bleed type of dude. Probably this guy. Actually, no. This guy. How is Mr. Gravy Blowing doing? That is a good name How for the is character. Mr. Gravy doing? And who the fuck is Mr. Gravy? What is that? What is that? Mm -mm -mm -mm. A dark rose gonna man. I'm zealot. How are things? Hope you guys are doing it well. And you guys didn't answer my question. Am I going to kill Moog early, or do I just ignore Moog and just use cheat engine? What do you guys think? Because I have to kill Moog early. That means I'm going to have to kill at least two bosses. I have to kill two bosses. And I kind of want to use Knee Heal to kill Moog. I'm not going to lie. 
Wait, I'm pretty sure it does fire damage, so probably not. Kill him, cheat engine, use cheat engine. Fun preparation for the DLC, just kill him. Cheat engine, then kill Moog. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nihil it does it does pure fire damage, right? Actually I forget. I literally just like, you know, you think I'd know, but <laughs> you think I'd know. I think it does pure fire damage. Or unless it scales up your AR and it does like AR damage. Okay, this is fire damage, cool. Yeah. So that means using it against Don't Mo would to them. Be a real man this time. Hmm. I mean, obviously he's gonna get bled out pretty quickly. But what's like Moog's resistance after you bleed him out like four times? What is his resistance? Seven hundred and twenty, which is still not that bad, honestly. But the thing is, like Moog doesn't give you like long animations. So if I actually were to use Nihil against him. And I'm only doing blood damage, kind of, which, like... Actually, might be kind of shit. <laughs> actually, might be pretty bad. Because if I'm going to kill Moog, I might as well just use his Great Knife. Why not? Fuck around and use the Great Knife. As I can pick up Reduvio, and it's got it's like plus four. And just do that, I guess. Um, new video is really good. Time to try the Bolter Grants. Yeah. Bolter Grants Axe is really good. And uh, do you guys check out my video? My top 10 best weapons. Did you guys agree with the list? As you guys are in the process of watching it right now. If so, what are your thoughts? Obviously, like some things just didn't make it to the list. That I would have liked to put on. But I, I put them in the intro clip. <laughs> the intro clip is like the real honorable mentions. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Really good weapons. But it's fine. We'll actually end up doing an all weapons tier list at one point. We'll probably just do it on stream. I'll just do a tier list of all the weapons. I'll probably like end up yapping for about three hours. I'll probably do it like... Either next month, or like in May. It'll be, be like, pray like a month before the DLC. Because I actually still want to do like other ranking videos. I want to rank all the Ashes of War, and I also want to rank all the unique skills. I want to go separate those things. Clayman's Harpoon better be A+. Clayman's Harpoon will might even end up being an S tier. But yeah, minimum A for the Clayman's Harpoon. Going melee range and Bloodlust Blade on Reduvia can negate his knee heal healing. Repeated blood loss. Yeah, we might end up just going with Reduvia just to kill him. It might just end up being the best play. Get it to like plus. I can even get it to plus five. I could probably just do that. Because either way. Actually, I could just get it to plus five. Because. Okay, I'm going to have to kill Godric as well. Without knee heal, which kind of sucks. Wait, should I kill Godric without knee heal or kill. Hmm. No cheat engine now. We'll try and get it legit. Just cheat it. Come on. <laughs> uh, my birthday is April the 21st. Can you please upload a video of the top 10 selling voice lines? We'll see. But I just realized, it's my birthday in like three weeks, which is April the 1st. And I've got to plan out an April Fool's video. I want to go harder this year. <laughs> Last year's April's full video didn't go hard enough. We must go harder. Um, you're going to try out the ER Convergence? Um, what, like, there's a, there's a new update? Is it people saying there was a new update? Is that what you guys are talking about? Or like... Because I've already played the Convergence mod like three times, honestly. Twice or three times, I don't know. I've already done a couple playthroughs. I think it was two playthroughs. And one was like somewhat recent as well. 
Um, chicken, what's going on, man? Chainsaw? What's up, what's up? I'm closer to 30 years old than I am to 20. That's sad as shit. Oh my god, that's gonna be the same as me in like a month. That's really bad. Try closer to 50? Damn. Um, so you can finish Mogu Think in this level range? I don't know. This is gonna be easy to me? Yeah, I mean... It just depends, like, if... I think some bosses might be a problem. I think bosses like Godfrey, even Goldfrey, because you can't bleed him out... Might end up being a problem, because you still have to get stuck in, like, a longer animation. And if enemies can't get staggered or blood out, it might be a problem. But, like, against, like, a majority of the bosses... No. No. Uh, TJ, what's going on, man? I'll be 29 in April. Damn. Damn, at least I got a bid. That's, <laughs> That's valid. Okay, how about this? Okay, um, type 1 in chat if I should kill him. If I should kill Moog. Or type 2 in chat if I should just use Cheat Engine. Because I'm hearing, like, mixed things. You can't type 12, it doesn't count. <laughs> One to kill, two for cheat engine. One. One, one, one. I'm 38, damn. I'm seeing more ones. It's funny like Twitch chat is like use cheat engine and, <laughs> and YouTube chat's like fucking kill him. Yeah, we guess we're gonna kill him. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna have to get the pure. Actually, should I bother getting the purifying crystal too? I have to stack up on like healing flasks too if I'm not gonna get the purifying crystal too. Either way, we're gonna have to go to the Altus Plateau. We're gonna do a lot of prep. Hello. So like the first hour, I'm not even gonna have like the the stupid weapon. Um, we'll go do that. I think we're gonna go use the Reduvio. I'm thinking. Um, Hux, thank you for the follow, man. Redivia might be the best play. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Like, you obviously you want to bleed him out. I could just use Blood Blade. But the thing is, I'm going to be draining a decent amount of health. And I might want to benefit off the Ritual Sword Talisman. But like, in the second phase, all that Blood Flame spam. Hmm. Like, I would love to use Black Flame Tornado, but I can't really use Black Flame Tornado. <sighs> I have a feeling I might be timed out tonight. Maybe, who knows? Depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling very, you know, generous and kind. Probably not. But if I end up getting mad. Can you kill Renala then instead of Godric? I'm gonna have to kill one uh, Remembrance boss. How about this? We just go kill Radon? And then I end up just reviving him with Cheat Engine. So I can kill him again with the, um, with Nihil. Unless I just use Cheat Engine to teleport to... <laughs> okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> do I go kill a Great Rune boss? And then go to Mogwin's sake, uh, Mogwin's Palace legit? Or do I just teleport to Mogwin's Palace? That works. Teleport, just go legit. <sighs> Cheat engine scorpion stinger. <laughs> just play normally. Fine, we'll just do it normally. We'll go kill Radon first, because that's like the minimal amount of bosses. And then we'll probably just revive him. So I can kill him again with Nihil. Because why not? Just to see how it performs against Radon. Because Radon might be a challenge with Nihil. We'll see. Probably not. It won't be. <laughs> it won't be. Make this the one stream where everything is done normal. Yeah. Unless I end up getting like, I don't know. Well, we're going to have to learn to go kill Moog early anyway. Because like when the DLC comes out, I'm guaranteeing that there's going to be really good stuff there. 
and you want to go to the DLC early to go get some good stuff. So practicing early Moog at a lower level might be beneficial. So it serves a great benefit. It serves a great benefit. Um, we might end up being really bad at fighting Moog at an early level. Because I've only fought Moog like at level 1 like one time. And it was not it fun. Be. And that was like that was like a plus 10 weapon. I'm going to be fighting him at a lower level. With like a plus 5, probably maybe plus 6 weapon. I could get it to plus 6. We can get a plus 6 Reduvio. I could probably get about 20 Arcane. I'd probably want to have a decent amount of health so I just don't get one shot. See, I would like to have the Ritual Shield Talisman, but I can't get that until Lendell. That helps me out greatly. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to get one shot. Unless I use some damage negation spells. Which I can't really get into Faith, unless there's a Faith tier as well. I don't know, we have options. We'll just fight him and see what I'm missing, and then we'll just go spec into the thing that I'm missing. I'm pretty confident that I can fight him without getting hits that much. But like, if I get hit, I'm probably just gonna die. So... Shall there be a lot of cheese guides? Yeah. I wanna actually end up making a video on like, the best way to go... Well, the fastest way to get to the DLC. I want to end up making a video like that, to where like you just start off the game, you have to at least kill Radan and Moog anyway. And we're going to be doing that, so that's going to be pretty cool. Because you need to kill Radan and Moog to get to the DLC. Demon Fists are so fun in Dark Souls 3, are they? I did a fist based marathon, it would be all the games using fist weapons. And I used the Demon Fist when I played Dark Souls 3, and it, honestly, it wasn't that good. <laughs> I didn't like it. Like the weapon skill is fun. Well, the weapon art is fun, but it just doesn't do as much damage. Like, doing, like, a couple of light attacks does, like, just as much damage as, like, the full weapon art. Ah, uh, we're gonna be using Sumber Stones. We don't need those. We don't need those. Um, Radan is very low on a boss tier list in Elden Ring, in my opinion. What? Radan is low? Radan is top five for me. Easy top five. I've played two hours of the Ashes of Ariadel DLC and I'm having a Goshen Blast. Nice! A lot of people didn't like the Ashes of Ariadel DLC, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe because it didn't have like as many like amazing bosses. If I had like one boss in between like the whole level design, it'd be nice. I think so. I think that's the one thing that is missing. And the enemies can be kind of annoying to fight. A lot of ganks too. Yeah, we'll see. <sighs> um, what whip do you think is the most fun in Soulsborne? Probably the Threaded Cane. <laughs> the Bloodborne one. The rest of the whips are kind of doo-doo. Um, Edward, it's gonna man. Maybe we'll get a really cool whip in the DLC. Since I'm here, I might as well go kill this guy if we could get Golden Bell. Why not? Why not? Ew. Daggers are so mid. <laughs> Until you get a critical attack off. Then they're good. We got the Partisan! Nice. Good weapon. Mm -mm. Is a Bloodhound Fang good and easy weapon to finish the game with? Yes, you can get the Bloodhound Fang right at the beginning and it's like honestly one of the best weapons. I think the reason why they put the Bloodhound Fang in the game was basically just for players that are struggling. Because you can just get it very early on and it's just insane. <laughs> It's just actually ridiculous. Actually, you might as well kill Radon. I mean, Radon. Alexander. Fuck it. Actually, no, we're gonna kill him. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Who cares? <laughs> Get him out of the way. Oh my god. 
What is this? <laughs> Daggers are awful. <laughs> yeah, Potpoy is gonna have to get the rip. Yeah. Think of the exalted flesh. Oh my god, this damage is so bad. I guess what a plus zero dagger will do to your life. Actually got the poise break on him. Okay, don't stun lock me, please. Now come back. You're gonna die. Are you grabbing Reduvia? Yeah, we're gonna get Reduvia in a bit. Go grab some souls first. Go level up. Bit of, bit of points into health and arcane. Actually, I don't need many points, because if I'm killing Moog, Moog gives me like so many souls. You probably get like 100k just of killing Moog, or some shit. Not probably more than that, actually. The knife in the I could use those to level up. Sucks absolute kangaroo balls. So I could like meet the minimum requirements for the Mogwood Sacred Spear. So I probably can go into like, Vigor early. 450k, there you go. That's a healthy amount right there. <laughs> 600k Whenever I play with a these golden games, falcon. I never use consumables no matter how broken they are. I never use consumables, yeah. It's just because like crafting in this game was like ugh. You can get the black whetstone blade which in theory helps with Moog because it opens up occult bleed more. That is true. That is true. But the thing is, like, occult infusions typically won't be that good until you get later in the level. Because, like, you would use, like, an occult infusion with a weapon that already gets bleed. But having an occult infuse will kind of just make the bloodless put up not that good. Until you get to, like, 30, 40 arcane, maybe. And then it gets pretty decent. Ch crafting system is not that useful, yeah. Especially because, like, they made the crafting system... Um basically have all the exact same items that you used to get in the previous games just of vendors. Like, you used to get everything off the crafting system in Dark Souls 3. Just off the one NPC. Like, the one, like, merchant that you had in the game. And what would be the way to damage from Moog? We'll be using Reduvio. Does Arcane softcap? Yeah, I should softcap like the rest of the stats. Should be 40, 60, 80, I believe. Just finished watching the top 10 Sombra weapons. What are your thoughts on the top 10 Sombra weapons list? Honestly, the top 10 Sombra weapons might as well just be the top 10 best weapons in general. Because I don't think the Greatsword is better than those 10 weapons. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, maybe the Greatsword. Maybe, actually, maybe Greatsword and Staff is might be better. I lie. <laughs> might, may make it to us? the top we 10. Need to know you're having fun prepping. Can you smile? There you go. I'm extremely happy. Crafting is too tedious for what it gets you. Like, I don't mind the crafting system because it could be like a merchant on the go. That's basically what it's like. But the thing is like, crafting requires like farming sometimes. <laughs> oh. Which is silly. You can't just buy things with souls. Like, I wish you could just unlock them by like, you know, spending crafting materials and then you could just infinitely purchase them. That would be nice. Um, and I wish there was like less cookbooks as well because there's like way too many cookbooks. Way too many cookbooks. Um, I might as well go, because I gotta kill an NPC invader. <sighs> so I might as well go buy the thing of this guy. That'll be nice. <sighs> mm -mm. Can we stop with the fucking spamming already? That's how you're gonna get timed out, honestly. It's fine. I need not, need not get mad. It's fine. Jeez. I need to make those things more expensive. That's it. We're going to up the price of everything. Everything is going to get more expensive. That you did time out. If he gets timed out, you're getting timed out as well. 
Um, what does Blood Flame Blade work on? Oh. All weapons that can be buffed. Oh my god. Unbelievable, chat. I cannot believe you guys. <laughs> you know what? I'm not dealing with this today. We're gonna go, um... Okay, hold on a second. Wait! I said wait! That's getting muted. Cool. How come I can still hear it? Didn't I click the mute button? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why are you here? I don't care, that's fine. <laughs> Volume, zero percent. Good enough. Oh, that's it, we're banning sounds for the rest of, like forever. Sounds are getting banned. Honestly. No more sounds. We're getting rid of them. I us just make them like 10 times more expensive. We might just do that. May make them cost like a thousand channel points. Um, Bloodhound Fang can be buffed with a Blood Flame Blade. That is correct. Do I make TTS expensive? We're gonna make TTS expensive too. Everything's getting more expensive. Long gone are the days of which I was kind to my YouTube, I mean my Twitch chatters. You guys did it to yourselves. Actually, you know what? I'm getting rid of TTS too. <laughs> Inflation hit Twitch chat hard? Yeah. This changes everything. <laughs> Literally 1984. Actual dictator. That is true. I make the rules. I'm just in that type of mood. You guys don't deserve shit. Millennia yet? I just started. What do you mean millennia? <laughs> it's been 20 minutes. Um, saw the top 10 unique weapons. Finally someone who respects the wing of Estelle. Um, yeah. I wanted to put the wing of Estelle higher, honestly, but... I think... It's spot is still respectable. Like, the ordering of the weapons, it's not gonna be that big of a difference, honestly. Like, the difference between, like, how well number one can perform compared to number ten. It's not that big of a difference. Why am I getting this? I don't need this. We'll get it anyway. Is Moog Spear good? Yes, it is. Blasphemous Blade is the coolest name for any weapon ever. Hello? Controller? My controller just stopped working. And it somehow survived the fall. My controller stopped working, but it somehow survived the fall. That was the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the second time this happened. This happened yesterday as well, didn't it? My controller just like died. Okay, can you like work properly now? Please? I said please, that means you have to. Oh. That's fine. Remove device. Something is going on. Things are breaking. That's, that's fine. Head device. Device unknown. That's really cool. Should the ER DLC add Covenants? If they're gonna make the Covenants work in both PvE and PvP, and actually add like a game mode for PvE with the Covenants, then yeah, I'm all for that. Um, 
Is that working now? Okay, cool, we're good. <laughs> it's like so confused, like what the ha what the happened? Everything is good, we're fine. Why didn't you put the Saint Trina's sword on in the list? The Saint Trina's sword? Bro. You could probably argue that that could be like maybe top 10 in PvP weapons, potentially. Not probably not even that. In PvE, the Saint Trina's sword is probably not even top 100, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, you guys can still hear the alerts? There's no way. Can you guys still hear them? I can't. Not really. How about a top 10 aesthetically? Um, I've already done top 10 weapons based on how cool they look. I've already done that video. Forgive me. I killed Millennia so I'm um, easy with the Moog Sacred Spear. Yes, Moog is one of like the few weapons that could just make quick work of her. The curved swords were forced into mid of the ranking lists by the metal. <sighs> um, the curved swords were forced into the, the mid of the ranking lists? What do you mean by that? What's the best staff in the game? Um, the Carrion Regal Scepter is like the best one above like 60 intelligence if you don't want to use the loose at stuff because that one just makes you take more fp and the honestly throughout most of the playthrough you can stick with the um meteorite stuff because you don't have to upgrade it and it's really good early on <laughs> so i'd use the meteorite stuff until you honestly get to like 40 or 50 60 and you could switch the karen regal scepter you could just use like the regular academy stuff that could be pretty good but it requires smithing stones so it's hard as to upgrade for me, every single time I do a sorcery playthrough, I'm just using the meteorite stuff from like start to finish. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What weapon should I use besides a rapier for the DS2 hex run? Use the warped sword. <laughs> Easy game. The Prince of the Death stuff, that one is good like at level 200. <sighs> um, what am I doing? Goodness. I didn't kill the stupid thing thing. The Knight Rider. What if you could kiss Melanor? I don't... <laughs> um, beat Scumnut first and doing a Law of Causality run? No, I'm not... <laughs> I think a Law of Causality run is literally impossible. Not I think, it definitely is impossible. I'd be surprised if you could kill like, any like, regular boss with that thing. Um, I was like up this actually. And it's barely good at level 200? Yeah, it's true. You need like 80 intelligence and faith for like the Prince of the Death stuff to be good. <sighs> Wing of Estelle and Bloodhound could have been ranked higher. Everyone would have just argued about it probably. Um, maybe. People are going to argue about it anyway. People are going to get mad. Some guy said he was going to do an Elden Stars only run in New Game Plus 7. I don't believe that. Um, Falcon, what's going on, man? How was the Sonaf run yesterday? The Sonaf run? I did the Sonaf run like two days ago. Three days ago. Was it? I don't know. Um, the Sonaf run was really good. <laughs> it was like a three hour run, max. Everything just got deleted. The longest part of the run was just grabbing like the crystal tears and like the talismans, which took like an hour. Not even that. How was the DS3 mod? It was okay. I liked it. I wish that like it gave you more freedoms in terms of like leveling up. Um, we're well, getting different types of spells because it has required a lot of farming. It's kind of annoying.
Before I forget, I'm gonna go grab another gold pickled Falford from Moog. Because I'm guarantee I'm gonna forget. Stop cheating, we said legit. That is very much legit. That's not cheating. I just stood there next to the ledge and he jumped off. That's his fault. Convergence mod forces you to grind. Yeah, the Elden Ring Convergence mod didn't do that though. It actually like told you where all like the spells were. You just gotta pick up like the books and stuff. <sighs> um. Let's go get Reduvio. We gotta go to the Altus Plateau as well, obviously. What should I put on? <laughs> I don't know. They get like flame gummy strength and stuff. Good old golden bell. Okay, level up. We need. We got a ten faith for flame gummy strength. After get that two finger heirloom. I would literally. I'm gonna go into twenty vigor. We need at least that much. I don't need much endurance. But then again, Reduvia does take up a decent amount. Go to 15 and... Wait, what's the Reduvia requirements? 13 Dex and Arcane. That is not too bad. I already actually have that already. That's nice. Get a little bit of mind going on. We'll leave this amount. Go save the rest for like souls. I don't know what else I'm going to level up. I could just use the Moog Souls to go put points into um, Arcane. Because I need 27 Arcane, I believe. That's 13 points. I'm pretty sure I can get 13 levels of points with Moog. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Knight of Flame still the goat? Yeah, when the Knight of Flame literally went from like the best weapon in the entire game to like a top 5 weapon, so. Because it did get nerfed. But then they got buffed again. So, it, like, the nerf took it out of the top 10, and I think the buff put it back in. I'm not sure if that... I forget what the buff actually brought, if it actually brought damage boost as well. Or was it just, like, the redirection thing? I forget. Because you couldn't be able to, like, aim the Sword of Night and Flame. You couldn't, like, aim upwards or down with the weapon skill. And they changed it to where you could. Mm -mm. What's the best power stance combo? If I only have one. For the Sword of Night and Flame? And you want to power stance it? Oof. Um. <sighs> There's like, I don't know. Sword of Night and Flame power stance. I'd wait for the DLC and hopefully we get a, um, a faith int infusion. Oh, come on, dude. Where is my guy to help me out? Will you redo every single ranking and tier list bosses when the DLC comes out? Probably, maybe at some point. I'll probably end up doing a, um... Actually, let's go buff him with Golden Bell. Because I'm nice like that. And then we can just R1 spam ourselves. Oh, I'm sorry! Help me! Thank you. Backstab. Oh, that was a bleed proc too. Nice. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, what a perfect impaling thrust. Was that piercing fang? I don't know. Good job. We can go fuck up patches and get some more gold pickled foul food. Since I'm here, I might as well. Might as well. Hypes for the all weapons tier list, yeah. That'll probably end up being like a couple months from now. I gotta make- there'll be some other videos that'll keep you guys occupied until then. Am I the only one who think Liza P is a masterpiece? Um, no. I think mas I think Liza P is a masterpiece as well. I think it's some pretty good shit. Some things I wish could be better. 
I think when they make it like a second game, they can make it a lot better, honestly. COVID was four years ago today. Wasn't it like 2019? Hence it being called COVID-19, so wasn't it five years ago? I think it was like towards the end though. Patches, buddy. Now you're dying, I'm sorry. It's easier this way. If I like leave your life, then it's like a whole last thing. I have to quit out and stuff. Not happening, buddy. Okay. So patches is in every souls besides secular. Um, yeah. 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 Trying to think now, but yeah. Patches wasn't in Dark Souls 2. I think he was in Dark Souls 2, but not in like regular form. I think he was like in some type of lore, and there was like an. No, he wasn't. I mean, what's his name? Prattling Pate was like the equivalent of Patches. Another bald headed man, but it wasn't really Patches though. So I guess kinda. I'm astonished how good they made Bleed in this game versus Dark Souls 3. I mean, this is status effects in general, not even just like in Dark Souls 3. Because like, status effects are mid in every game. Like, they're still good. Like, Bleed was okay in Dark Souls 1 and in Dark Souls 3. Like, they're still good options to have. But the thing is, what made status effects like really mid in the other games was that... Um... There wasn't really like fast ways to proc them, and a lot of the bosses were just immune. Like a lot of bosses are just immune to status effects. The thief's name in secular? I forget his name. Rusty made an all weapons tier list. I know, I reacted to it. We saw Rusty's list. But that was like a whole ass ranking. I'm not gonna do a ranking. I'm gonna do just a tier list. Not a ranking video. I could like reorganize them in the tier list to like, make it kind of seem like a ranking, but I'm not gonna rank every single one. Pay didn't even try to get you killed. He was just like, there might be some stuff in that room, but it's dangerous, so don't go in there. True. When will I get cornrows? Never. <laughs> Uh, okay. Everything's fine. I would do an tier list invasion areas. I mean, like, if I did more invasions, then I would, but I don't, so... Not much of a point to that. I might as well get this to plus four, and let's go kill Radon. And then I can get a somber five and a six. I can get a Sombra 5 and a 6 right now if I just go kill the Falling Star Beast. But I'm trying to limit the amount of bosses I kill. So I can just go get a Sombra 5 next to that area. Pretty sure there's a Sombra 5 there. A challenge run? <laughs> I mean, I'd hardly call it a challenge run. I mean, it actually might be a challenge for some things. But we're going to go get the weapon legit and try and kill Moog early. Which, unironically, is going to be the hardest part of the run. As soon as we acquire the Mogwin Sacred Spear, it's going to be pretty easy, but you're getting it is the hard part. Say doo doo trash. There you go. I said it. I'm eating fried chicken and honey. Nice. Very nice. Mm mm. Okay, so the next video that I probably might end up making 
will either be like another top five broken Elden Ring builds video. Why am I going this way? That's fine. Either that or I go rank all the magic types across all the games. What do you guys would what do you guys rather see? No more blups? Yeah, we got rid of them. No more. They're becoming annoying, honestly. <laughs> Why does delete them all together? Um, Blubber Boy, thank you for the follow. Like, it's funny sometimes. But, like, most of the time it just fucking pisses me off. <laughs> Magic types? Yeah. So, like, I'll probably include, like, Bloodborne Hunter tools and, like, Secular Prosthetics as well. If I'm gonna rank, like, all the Magic types across all the games. Obviously, like, number one and number two is going to be, like, Elden Ring Incantations and Sorceries. That'll be, like, number one and number two. Um, but the rest will be pretty interesting to rank. I don't know what's going to get number three. As much as I love Dark Souls 3 Miracles, I'm not sure if that gets number three. Over, like, the Sorceries, you know? And some of the games. Like, Dark Souls 1 Sorceries are pretty stupid. And Demon Souls Sorceries are pretty stupid, too. <laughs> I might just go, I might just rank them based on like, because I did those um, videos already, like just ranking the magic types, but it kind of like included how fun they are as well. I might just go based on performance. Like fuck everything else, just based on how powerful they are, that's it. And I was actually like making my own categories as well, because like when I was ranking the miracles, I kind of like separated some of the incantations and made those miracles. But for, like, this video, I'll just, like, have the categories of which are in the base game. And I'll try to make my own. Mm -mm. A tier list of feet. I have already done that. Yeah, I actually did that a year ago. I did it for, like, April Fool's stream. But we did it pretty seriously. <laughs> um, AC, what's going on, man? How's the run been? I mean, it's been like 30 minutes. We haven't really done much. But it's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, we have a plus four Reduvio. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm just realizing, if I go kill Margit and Godric, I can go get a Talisman pouch that way. And that could like help my damage. Because I could put on, like, the Ritual Soul Talisman or something. Rank all the Poison Swamps. <laughs> we need more Liza P content. When the Liza P DLC comes out. But, like, there's not much of an incentive to make Liza P content. I've basically done everything that I've needed to. Um, let's just go kill thing. Ah, uh, Fishman, what's going on? How are things? What's the plan with Duvia, then rush to Mogwin's Palace? Yeah. We're gonna have to kill one boss. Or one Great Rune boss. Of which, we're just gonna go kill Radon. Um, we'll just do that. Then we'll go head to Mogwin's palace. We're gonna kill the NPC. Of which, that's the like, NPC gives me a Sombra 6. So I can just pick up a Sombra 5 from somewhere. Which I can go to pick up a Sombra 5. Um, at the Volcano Manor or like in Kaled. Which is like somewhat nearby. Liza P is getting a DLC? Yeah, it's getting a DLC. Although it's probably not going to come until, like, next year, I'm guessing. Because, like, they were just starting, like, development. Like, a couple months ago. They were literally, like, hiring people to start development. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm guessing it's not going to... It's going to be a while. Run looks fun. You got this? Yeah. Need to rank the handles before the DLC. I want to make, like, a... Oh, I should probably level up. I have 9k souls. Please unmute TTS. TTS is unmuted. It's the alerts, the blurps on. Um, Chodjo, thank you for the follow, man. What's going on? Can't you see cheat engine? Um, we did like a vote and people said that they'd rather see me get it legit. So we'll attempt to get it legit. If I suck at doing so, then we might concede. Mind? Do I want mind? Maybe want mind. Maybe.
Maybe. Uh, not people, the Twitch chat wants Cheat Engine, the YouTube wants it legit. I mean, some Twitch people said they wanted to see me get it legit. Look, we'll attempt it. Either way, we've got to practice killing Moog early, killing Radan and Moog early. Because that's going to be the best, that's going to be like the only way to get to the DLC, is by killing those two bosses. So if I want to get to the DLC early, this is what we're going to be doing. This is just, this is how it is. What's the best weapon to beat Millennia with? Probably the Mogwin Sacred Spear. That's probably the best one. Second best one is probably Ordovis' Greatsword. And then probably Blasphemous Blade. And then anything that just does, like, range. Like, decent amount of range. I don't know, we used a bunch of really good things. The Sword of Night and Flame we used somewhat recently. That was pretty good. Um, even, like, the, the, the Nox flowing weapons are really good as well. And then Ashes of War, like, Giant Hunt can perform really nicely. Um, Stormcaller is really good too. There's no way that hit- I mean, there is a way that hit me. But there's no way that hit me. I'm still waiting for the god run you What? Still waiting for the god run? I'm not doing a god. I kind of do want to do like an all great runes no hit run. Because I haven't done one of those. Like I've done like a regular no hit run. I've done a level 1 no hit run. But I haven't done like a great runes one. I kind of might do that before the DLC. Oh shit, I'm dead. Yeah. I was fucked up. I completely- I should have got on my horse there instead. That was silly. Because I forgot like the second phase does the projectile attack. I kind of forgot what phase I was, phase I was in. I'm not gonna lie. Have you done the Redan cheese where you make him land in the water? I have not. All Remembrance no hit. I kind of want to do great rune bosses instead. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because like, no hit running is cool. Until you, like, fail it a whole bunch and you're doing the exact same run multiple times a day for, like, an entire week and a bit. It's, like, it gets really annoying. That's why I just like doing different runs. Am I unbanned from Twitch? <laughs> when I time people out on Twitch, it's, like, for, like, five minutes. It's not even that long. That's okay. Renalo no hit? Yeah. That doesn't sound fun. I gotta like, look up the strats and stuff, you know? Okay, this time, let's be normal. Oh, nice. Good RNG. We can get one more bleed prop? That would be like super cool. Oh my god, look at this RNG. Fantastic. Oh, I should have bought a pickled fa- Actually, I, I have one, don't I? Ah, oh, it's too late now. That's okay. I completely forgot, I could have used one. Get white mask before you kill Moog? I probably could get that, that is true. That's a good idea. Good idea. Okay, now we can go to Mogwin's palace. Just use a jacked up Marais Executioner Sword to beat up Millennia. That works too. <laughs> that definitely works too. Um, okay, Arcane. Get a little bit of that going on. 20 of those bad boys. I need 14 dexterity anyway for the Mogwin Sacred Spear. Uh, we've got a 10 strength for after like I could just two-hand it on. Actually, no. Vigor. We need health for Moog. Moog. That's gonna be the play. 
I could try and kill like Grail to get more souls, but I'm not gonna bother doing that. The hill does not count in any no hit run ever for all of time. The hill does not count in any no hit run. That's cool. Um, I'm pretty sure I should be getting a. We're gonna get a Sombra five. What's the fastest way to the Sombra 5? Probably here. Um, Giant Hunts, the Fire Pillars are most like- are most fun. You can get versus Millennia, sending her flying every time. That can be pretty fun. It's unavoidable, what, knee heal? I mean, you can kill Moog before he does knee heal. You can, like, script a fight. Killing Moog locks you out of the White Mask questline, is that true? I didn't know that. I wonder why you have to kill Radan to access the DLC. Um, it probably has something to do with like activating the underground maybe, or like it just to enhance, like just probably further someone's quest line. Who knows? Maybe something like that, or it's probably just like another gatekeep. I don't know. Because they probably want you to at least like access the Altus Plateau. Because like, you can go to Morgan's Palace before the Altus Plateau if you just do some invasions, right? I need a rest. I'm locked out of it because I'm assuming I just got like killed Moog. Something to do with the stars. Maybe it is something to do with the stars. That's actually a good point. Maybe it does. That probably makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. Does make sense. Uh, 500 souls, I don't need these. <laughs> we can just teleport out. Um, okay, Reduvia, plus four, so it's plus five. I can go kill the NPC in the Atlas Plateau to get it to plus six, and I need to kill that NPC anyway. Why'd they teleport there? That thing didn't even aggro. Was it because it's nighttime? That's fine. You know what? I might pick up that rot grease. I could probably proc rot on Moog as well. I got one chance though. <laughs> one chance of doing so. Cool, let's go head to the outer spot so. Um, mm, 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 mm. didn't you say Horror Luth shouts before he jumps counts as a hit? Yeah, if you get staggered by something, that counts as a hit in a no-hit run. But, like, knee heal is, like, unavoidable in some types of, like, runs. Like, if you're doing, like, a level 1 no-hit run, I don't think there's a way to really script the fight to make it so that it doesn't happen. So, like... Because it's basically, like, a second phase transition. And it is like, it's like a scripted amount of damage. But I, like, there's no point of making specific rules just for like specific types of runs. So I guess let us make like the same rules for like all the runs. Because if you're going to make it work that way for like level one, or if you're doing specific runs, like only like doing a no hit run using just a particular weapon. I think stuff like that. So I just make the rules all the exact same. That's what I'm guessing. <sighs> Why don't you use the glitch where you fall off the map and despawn him? The glitch where you fall off the map and despawn him? Um, is this Moog or...? I haven't used any glitches for these type of bosses, I'm not gonna lie. 
Is that still a thing? Maybe Mikula needs the Finger Slayer Blade in Nokron. Um, but it doesn't say anything, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about getting the Finger Slayer Blade, it just says kill Moog. Yes, you can cheese Moog. You'd think they'd patch that, right? <laughs> if you could cheese Moog, is it actually consistent? Like, is it easy to pull off? If you load Moog's fog wall, then use the glitch to fall off the map, eventually it just kills him. Oh, like you just, okay, so there's like a, a, a spot that you can fall off the map where you just like infinitely fall down. And it like deloads the area and then he'll just end up falling down himself. Is that what happens? Yep, okay. I chased Moog three times, it still works. Can you do it after? You have to do it after you aggro the boss, right? Some strong cheddar. Yes. Start the fight, then quit out. Um, is it true that when you proc bleed on Moog, he gets stronger? Yeah. Moog kind of has like the Lord of Blood Exaltation talisman, like inherently equipped. <laughs> so like every single time you proc bleed on him, or when you procs bleed on you, he just gets stronger. He just does a bit more damage. Which is why he's like weak to bleed to begin with, I believe. Because he just gets more powerful. Um, but it's still like the best way to kill him, so... <laughs> just don't get hit! But like, you have to like fall down for like 5 minutes, right? Is it like a lot of falling? Does it take a while? Am I gonna be sitting here just looking at my screen for like 5 minutes? Waiting for him to die? We might go kill Eleonora to go get the purifying too. It's like 2 minutes max. Okay, that's not bad. We'll still attempt to do it legit and... If we, like, completely suck at doing it, then we might use an alternative method. I don't know why I'm getting this, honestly. I mean, I'm here, might as well. Actually, no. Actually, yeah. It's too late. Can you just die already? I do it to get the Moog Spear early? Okay. That's valid. That's valid. Okay, we'll, we'll, still, we'll still fight him legit though. Like, surely we're good enough. We have 25 Vigor. Hopefully we don't get one shot. Actually, might... Hmm. I might I pick up a better armor set? I might get clapped with this thing. <laughs> It's easier than I thought. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, Dark Souls is. Better, but I haven't played Lords of the Fallen, but I did get the Best Buy Steel Book for free, which is cool. Nice. Um, I did outblade him with the Eleonora's Pole Blade and the Godskin Apostle weapon. That'll definitely do it. Would we'll definitely do it. We'll go back there in a bit. I'll just go grab these Golden Seeds. Then we'll go speak to Vare. Wait. Can I just kill this NPC before speaking to him? I think I can just do that and just quit out a whole bunch. That's pretty quicker. Yeah, we'll just do that. Probably the play.
Any recommendations for an Unga Bunga build? It won't work. I'm pretty sure I've done it before where, like, you can kill this NPC earlier. And I could just talk to Vare afterwards, and then I quit out. And he would give me the, um... The thing. I'm pretty sure that's happened. I'm playing Ting. It's gone, man. How things? A Great Club charge attack build is fucking ridiculous. I, if the Great Club... Bro, if the Great Club could be infused... It would be one of the best weapons. I'm not even kidding. Mortal Shell is mid. I haven't played much of it, so... I played like a couple of hours of it, and I didn't care for it, honestly. Every single time I play Souls-like games, I kind of just get bored. It wasn't until like I played Lords of the Fallen... Lies of P, where I didn't really get bored. Even though Lords of the Fallen was kind of, you know... <laughs> not that great either. It was still, like, entertaining enough. And interesting enough to want to play. Could have saw Marius Executioner's Blade proc to bleed? No, it doesn't, no. It would have been better if it did. It probably definitely would have made it to the top 10 list. If it proc to bleed. It'd probably be a bit broken as well. Because <laughs> hitting that many times and proccing bleed... Sounds pretty silly. I love Mortal Shell. Nice. Um, what's your character going into the DLC? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty just going like a random like faith int build. Either way, as soon as I find my first weapon, I'm just gonna respec. I'm gonna have like 10 characters already. So as soon as I beat the DLC the first time, I'm just gonna go in with a second character then. Probably all at different new games as well. Because why not? Wing of Estelle like a curved moonlight? Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> Have you played Nier? I played the first one for like five hours and I kind of stopped. Ah, smoking. That's gonna, man. Mortar Shell is fine, but it has some, has some fun bosses, but it lacks variety. Okay. Um, should we go grab... Yeah, we'll go grab the Purifying Crystal tier first. Gonna kill two NPCs back to back, that's nice. So when are you killing Moog? <laughs> soon, soon. Like 10 minutes, maybe. We'll go fight Moog. Just got to do a couple more things. Got to do Vare's quest line so I can actually, you know, go to Mogwin's palace. Want to get a plus six weapon and then grab this as well. Actually, might want to get the white mask too. I will say, we'll see if we can fight him without the white mask. If I'm lacking damage, we'll go get it. We might be okay. Get the blood exaltation? No. Oh, we can't go. Never mind. Eleonora doesn't spawn. Is it because I didn't speak to what's his name? But when does he like Eleanor normally just spawns in? At what point in the game? I think I have to speak to the like Nagakiba dude. Ah, uh, coffee, what's going on, man? If you kill Mogi, you won't get the white mask. That is true, and I kind of do want to get it for the Mogwin Sacred Spear. Death's poker is the best weapon against the fire giant. Um maybe. Yeah. There's lots of good stuff against Fire Giant. If you kill Yura, she will appear. Can I just talk to Yura too? So is that why, like, does Yura just, like, randomly die, like, halfway through the playthrough or something? Because, like, there'll be times where, like, I just go to get the Purifying Crystal too, and, like, Eleanor is already there, and I haven't even done, done Yura's questline. Going to do the Mo glitch. No. No. He dies when he gets to the mountaintops. 
That makes sense. So, do I have to talk to Yura first, or... Bro, can you stop? Do I have to kill Yura? Oh my god, I, that... Blood Blade is like so much... They consume so much less stamina. <laughs> That wasn't a backstab, that's crazy. Oh, come on, man. Whoops. Okay, stop that. Oh, you did a fully charge. Nice, thank you for that. Fighting NPCs is so cringe. Now she give me a somber six as well, right? Pretty sure he does. <laughs> why didn't he use cheat engine? Um, because people want to see me get it legit. That's why. I asked the chat, and they're like, "Go get it legit," which honestly, it makes the playthrough like a little bit more challenging, you know, <laughs> a bit more interesting. Triple Rings of Light is the fun way to fight NPCs. It definitely does work nicely against them. Once you get Raptor of the Mist, she'll spawn. Hmm, looks like we're gonna fight Moog without the Purifying Crystal too. That's fine, we have like plenty of flasks anyway. We have plenty of flasks. We're just gonna have three flasks. How many golden seeds do I have? Eight. That's like... Two more? Maybe three more? I can get another golden seed in Mogwin's palace too. I didn't speak to the fingers. <laughs> Forty-nine K away from a hundred K silver plaque, yeah. I believe if you kill him, it works too. Look, if we're sucking against fighting Moog, we might just go get the Purifying Crystal too. But I think we should be okay. I just need to not be bad. And not get hit that many times. Which, every single time that I fight Moog, I always get hit a bunch, so... <laughs> I'm using a dagger though. So, I, I don't know. We might be okay. And it'll be a plus six, which is not much, but... <laughs> we'll see. We shall see. Just kill Euro. You don't need to do the quest line. Because the thing is, actually, there's a pretty chance I get one shot, honestly. 24 Vigor. I could probably get to 25. Yeah. You claim what? My dad. Words <sighs> Fighting bleed resistance bosses is going to be challenging enough. Oh. We can always cheese him, that is true. It's probably going to take more time to get the Mogwin Sacred Spear than actually is to beat the game with the Mogwin Sacred Spear. Twitch and YouTube chat. Give me a wacky build for Lies of P right now. I'm Anoint me. It. Thank you. Now we can go kill Homegirl. Then we come back. Um, give me a wacky build for Liza P now. I'm down for it. A wacky Liza P build. It's kind of hard to like, I don't know. Whatever has like the goofiest looking handle with the goofiest looking head. <laughs> I cannot believe she rejected me. She used rejection on me. And again. Die. <laughs> no. This way. 
umbrella build. Is the umbrella goofy enough? Even getting rejected by women in the game, yeah. What can you do? Master um, Chef Blade with the puppet axe handle. Honestly, going with like a quicker handle with like a very large blade is actually pretty viable. And it's pretty funny. She's a maiden? It seems like it. <laughs> I'm so confused as to what's happening. We're trying to do Vare's quest line. So we can get to Mogwin's palace. Because it's the earliest way we can get to Mogwin's palace. And to do his quest line, it involves us having to kill a particular NPC invader. Um. Or well, killing an NPC as an invader, I think it is. And soaking the blood, or soaking the um, cloth in the blood of a maiden. Of which that maiden is like the earliest one we can acquire. So there is that. And now we're here. At Mogwin's palace. I don't need a map. There's a lot of golden runes. That is true, there is. I forget the locations of some of them, but... Look at all this stuff that I have. All this stuff, we have 10 flasks. That's nice. We might go put another point into Vigor. Who's the motherfucker who figured this out? Bro, like, every NPC questline is always complicated for no reason, so... I mean, all you gotta do is like listen to the dialogue. That that quest line is one of the, like the easier ones and less complicated ones, honestly, because it kind of just tells you what to do. And before you actually had to do invasions, I think this is one. Maybe no, it's not. I lie. Maybe that was one. Now, I'm pretty sure an NPC invader spawns here. I think you can like avoid him by just going around the right. Can you? Hopefully I can just avoid that bird too. And hopefully I can just avoid all these dogs. Nice. Very nice. Okay, now... We just gotta not die. Oh, he's pretty tanky. Oh, I should have got this a plus six first. I forgot. Oh, I'm gonna die anyway. Unless I just R1 spam my way to victory. No. Only I can R1 spam. I'm pretty sure he has Blood Blade as well. No. Now he has blood tax instead, that's right. <laughs> Wait. No. Stop! Brock lead, thank god. <laughs> oh my god, it's fine. That was scary. That was scary. Guys, get this a plus six. <clears throat> when in doubt, I want spam? Yes. Thankfully, they actually got the poise changes. Because otherwise, before the poise changes, 
That probably wouldn't have staggered him. I'm not going to lie. Okay, now I have a plus six. Surely a plus six is good enough. It's not. <laughs> we're going to fight him, realize that we're going to be doing terrible damage and going to be like, okay, time to cheese him. Oh, God. But his name is Michael Zaki? It is. Let's go equip the white mask. Now, hopefully... Oh, we're gonna get one shot by this boss. There's no way. 25 vigor is not enough. I'm gonna get one shot by, like, every attack. Oh, if I had the ritual shield talisman. But even then, the blood flame would just take away the ritual shield talisman. But then I could have coupled it with the, um... The health regen tier. Oh god. Just play perfect? True. True and real. We'll be okay. I really didn't like this old Mikolas tree. But you don't like this area or the Halic tree? Palm runs until you have enough endurance for Radan's armor. That's okay. I can get some more runes over here. And I can go get a golden seed. Which I don't think I can even like have enough golden seeds to get another flask. I don't think so. Mogwin's Palace is kind of ass. Yeah, it kind of... it. Mogwin's Palace should have been a legacy dungeon. It should have been a legacy dungeon. Ah, uh, Siege, thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate it, my guy. Two months, nice. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, so plus six. Oh, uh, we... It's fine. And I was put out of that for, like, another heal, I guess. I might go into, like, a blue... Fl I'm gonna get one shot, like... <laughs> Three? Do I really need three? I might just spam the weapon skill the entire time. Level Vigor with the Lord Rune? I could potentially do that. Because that would give me like 50k, right? I could get like five more levels. Could get to 30. He's actually weak to bleed? Yeah, because he actually gets damage boosted when you proc bleed on him. That's why. So he gets more powerful every single time he proc bleed. Which is really cool. 123 damage. 1, 2, 3. See, if you like didn't have the knee heal attack, it'd probably be fine. Because he gets, he gets like a bunch of health back. Oh, that's just silly. Okay, now we know we don't get one shot. That's nice. That was just from a backward swipe though. The downward slam would definitely one shot me. Okay, that one didn't- Okay, I thought I could strafe that attack. This is okay. Until it's not. Oh, we got a- 
Nice. Nice. <laughs> Huge. Now it's going to be like 700 lead resist that he has right now. Come this way. What are you doing? Oh, come on, dude. See, I was like, kind of like worrying about like the blood flame on the ground that I didn't bother dodging the attack. We should be okay. I got hit by like a bunch of bullshit, honestly. It'll be fine. <sighs> Is this gonna be shit? Like, I'd wish that I didn't... I kind of want to save the bleed procs for the second phase. Do I just like use this shit? I can't even use this shit. I can't even two-hand this thing. I need one more point of strength. It's fine. I'll keep going like this. This that's not even upgraded anyway. So like, <laughs> mm -mm. did you not spawn with the weapon? No. We're trying to get it legit. People want me to get it legit, so we're doing that. I could use Golden Vow a couple times and have an opening. Bro, dagger range is so bad. <laughs> You're only cheating yourself if you spawn it in? That is true. Okay, pro tip. Don't do spam attacks when he does that, because he has a chance to do a very quick follow-up. So only do two, not three. Wasting flasks like a silly person. Well, the good thing about having a low amount of Vigor is that I can just use one flask and heal myself to full. So that's cool. That's fine. Where are you going? This is fine. Nice. Good. Huge. I need to use my Wondrous boss because I can get more stamina. I could use it now. If you didn't do that attack, that's fine. Can you come back this way, please? Come on, buddy. Oof. The Blood Flame Talons attack blocked my screen. I couldn't see what was going on. I should probably use some charged heavy attacks to prop. Um, the stance break. Or we could just try and properly. Because 
the critical attack would be nice. Okay, he's literally one shot to getting blood out. Blade, 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 blade. <laughs> G fucking G. Nice. Did we do that without getting hit? Was that a no hit run? <laughs> I think we did without getting hit. But that wasn't too bad. Five hundred and fifty thousand souls. Banger OST. It is a nice OST. Um. Okay. So now we need twenty-seven of that, and then. Oh, we have a lot of souls. Okay. What's the requirements again? Twenty-four strength. I mean, I could just two-handed, but wait. It just scales purely of arcane, right? Blood Boon Ritual? The knee heal attack? Is it just Arcane? I think so. I don't think it scales off AR. Yeah, it's just, it's just Arcane. So I could just two-hand the weapon. I don't need to actually have the requirements. One-handed. We could just do that. We might need some more Mind as well. Go to 20 Minds. We might get some more Endurance so I can put on some heavier armor. Oh my god, it's such a nice luxury to kill a later game boss early on. Look at these levels. I don't need Vigor, who cares? <laughs> Damage! Nice! Level 69! Nice! Hell yeah! Let's go acquire my weapon. Make the fight look so easy? Tis practice. He's gotta like dodge in certain directions, then you could just do the same attacks. Once you just recognize the openings. Pretty easy stuff. Okay, chat, which one should I go for? Should I go with a spear or should I go with blood boon? Actually, that might be, might be a YouTube short idea. Just going with like the best option in every single remembrance. Why 17 strength though? Um, because I just did. That's why. How much do you need to just two-hand it? He probably just needs 16 strength, honestly. I don't know. An extra point doesn't hurt anybody. Okay. Um, a ritual sword talisman. Let's just go kill Margit. Actually, no, I lie. Let's go get a plus four weapon. <laughs> 16? Okay. I'm new to your channel. Awesome vids. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, show. You're gonna fight Suramog. <laughs> that might be the hardest fight. Sewer Fog, Sewer Fog, Sewer Mog might actually end up being the hardest fight. With this build at least. I love EG. EG is the best blacksmith. I can't even level up. That's okay. Valiant Gargoyles? Now, Valiant Gargoyles at least is like, you know... Actually, I think they're scaled this the same as Mogwin Sacred Spear, but like... Mog is 80% resist to fire. And Sewer Mog, you can't proc status effects on him. So I won't be able to bleed him out. I'm gonna have a longer animation. He's just gonna stagger me out of it every single time because he does a lot of poise. A lot of poise damage. So I'm gonna be doing doo-doo damage. I can't bleed him out. <clears throat> Whereas the Valiant Gargoyles... <clears throat> they're not resist to fire damage. Actually, there might be somewhat resist because I think you're standing in the water. So Mogu is just immune to everything? Yeah, he's immune to all status effects because he's like a projection or some shit like that? I don't know. Even though like Mar Margit's a projection too. It's like an illusion type of thing. But you can proc status effects on him. Must have been like a balancing thing or some shit. I don't know. I wish there was an arcane tier. 
plus 10 to arcane. That would have been nice. Like gold free, yeah, like gold free. Uh, we need to get flame, grab me strength too. Good after this. Suramog is just built different, yeah. Duplicate and get blood boon, yeah. We can just duplicate remembrances. But that still could be like a YouTube short idea. There's like 18 remembrances though, right? Is there 18? That's probably like 10. I lie. I know. Okay, we finally can use the weapon. Can I tank that attack? Oh my god, I can. Nice dodge. Okay, now we beat the game. We're good. We did it! We did it, chat. <laughs> the hardest part is now completed. <laughs> Disgusting, you should be ashamed. The fact that you could tank that attack is pretty funny. You can actually roll out of it pretty quickly. I was like spamming dodge roll there. I don't think that buff actually adds more blood. I think it's just fire damage. The buff does look cool. I think it's like 20 seconds, but I'm pretty sure it's just fire damage. Yeah, it's just fire damage. Only 30. So it's basically just a visual effect because 30 fire damage is like useless. Is this on New Game Plus? No, it's regular New Game. We just acquired the weapon like 10 minutes ago. We use a good old dagger, a plus six dagger. Okay, we're gonna get Flame Grammy Strength before we fight Godric. We might get to plus six, actually. What other talismans would I benefit off? The Carrion Filigreed Crest. That's gonna be a good one. Nice dodge. Neha does a lot of stagger damage. It's I don't think it does high um, stance damage, though, right? Like, it could probably stagger enemies nicely, but I think the... The stance damage is... Godfrey's icon doesn't get boosted. Fire Scorpion Charm will definitely work, yeah. He has a really good hyper armor, yeah. I'm sorry, what? That's fine. There's not a charge now, it's just a follow-up input. You just spam the button. It's like 20 FP per, like, cast, and it's like, can be casted three times. So therefore, 60. Oh, the Lord of Blood Exaltation. True. Yeah. That'd be in Lendel. True. So that, that'll probably be the last two slots. I just have this on for now, so I can use Flame Gummy Strength. We might go into 15 Faith. Might be easier. I could go 15 Faith and put on the Faith tier, then I could use a Golden Vow spell instead. That could, in fact, be the play. Um, what did I say I was going to go grab? Flame Gummy Strength. True. Mm -mm, God of I have the Golden of Ash of War already. Got it here in this dagger. Um, but I, the Golden of spell is just better. It lasts, like, twice as long. Have you done a Discus of Light only run? Yes, I have. Like, basically every single spell run is done. I've beaten the game with, like, every spell. I mean, they've been done in, like, spell schools. So, like, I did, like, the class of that spell. And I beat the entire game only using that class. So, like, I did use the, um... What are they called? The Fundamentalist Incantations. I did them as one. So, I used, like, the Triple Rings of Light, Radagon's Ring of Light as well. As part of that run. But it basically was, like, a Discus of Light only run. Because, like, that spell is actually insane. It's a lot better than the other two. Radagon's Ring of Light was pretty useful, especially against like the Godskin duo fight. That was nice. But Discus of Light is actually amazing. Um, Oni, what's going on, man? Should take the Moog outfit too. That's a good point. I should cosplay as Moog, but I kind of want this white mask for more damage. But I can go get his armor set. His chest piece, at least. Um, I used five of your top ten weapons in my first playthrough. Damn. <laughs> my first playthrough, I didn't use anything good. What, what did everyone use in their first playthrough? That's what I don't know. I went to the game blind and I used some bunch of trash. 
Radagon might be hard. No, he's not. <laughs> Radagon is very weak to fire damage, of which this thing is going to be doing a lot of fire damage. The Moonlight Greatsword, Bolter, Grand Sax, Blasphemous Blade, Iron Cleaver, actually based. Longsword, Moonveil, Knight's Cavalry, Bloodhound Fang, Banished Knight Greatsword, Guts' Sword. In my first playthrough, like, I wanted to commit to Power Stancing and using a Holy type build, because obviously, like, Power Stancing wasn't in, like, you know, most of the other games. I'm like, I want to do Power Stancing again. And Holy Damage was, like, first implemented in this game. It's like, I want to go with a Holy build. <laughs> Thankfully, one of those two things are really good. I ended up Power Stancing, like, Holy-based Curve Swords. Um, what am I doing? Actually, we might go down to the s to go get the gold scarab talisman. Lag, stop. I use a naga keeper until I get the rivers of blood. Hello, what is going on? What's this lag? Meteoric ore blade, the bastard stars, Eleonora's. Some nice variety. Yeah, I was just power stancing a couple of just random ass curve swords with a holy infusion until I ended up finding the Makilla Night Sword and the Golden Epitaph. I was like, I want to power sense these two because these are holy based. <sighs> Mid. Um, does this weapon work with a sword insignia? No, it does not. It does not get boosted off the multi hit talismans. It feels like it's a projectile attack. If it hit with the weapon directly, then it would, but. Typically, if it's like a projectile, and it doesn't hit with the weapon itself, it's not going to get boosted. With the multi-hit talismans. Mm -mm. This should absolutely completely decimate the, cl the clean rot knights. These things are going to get destroyed. What does power stance mean? Dual wield. Dual wielding. How did that not jump for? Hello? Video game? Oh, the fire tier! Yeah, of course, I need to get the fire tier. <laughs> True. Of course, the fire tier. That hit me. There's lots of stuff that we can get for this run, okay? <laughs> we might go get the fire tier next. That'll just be like 15% more damage. I'm good up into power sense with the wing of Astel. Um, probably just like a magic infused bandit's curve sword. Just throw that bad boy in the offhand. Wait, can you put? I didn't think you can equip glint blade phalanx on a curve sword because you can't do that follow up poking attack, can you? Because if you could be equipped glintstone phalanx, that'd be the most insane poise breaking build of all time. You could just put on a dagger anyway. You could honestly go with like a frost infused bandit's curse sword so you can proc frost as well. Or have it magic infused with chilling mist. And this guy should just get absolutely clapped. It is not gonna be close. Yeah. <laughs> well, he died. They died. Well, like, they're weak to fire damage and they can get blood out, so, yeah. Skill issue, I guess. Next time, don't be weak to fire damage. Um, okay. It does not get buffed with the Godfrey's icon. What did I say I was gonna go grab? The fire tier. True. Since Golden Vow Ash gets off so quick, is it worth the extra points into Faith? Um, well, like, there's nothing else that I could really put on in terms of, like, I don't know, I could just put five points into Faith, and I can use the Faith tier. Because there's no other Crystal tier that I really need to use. Except for the Fire one. Because there's no Arcane tier. So I could just go on the Fire, the Faith tier, go to 15 Faith, then I can have the Requirements. But I can use it right now, because I have the Two Finger LM too. So I can just, I could use Golden Vow Ash, or Spell right now. Oh, god damn it. Wait, wait, wait! 
Wait. 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 Cool. Now we're good. <laughs> Wait! Oh, come on. What is this, man? Where are these guys coming from? It's fine. Now, we can't bleed out the Erd Tree Avatar. But, it can take a lot of fire damage. So we should be okay. Don't do that. It's actually not that long of an animation for the first part. You can actually roll out of it pretty quickly. <laughs> you have a membership? Um, I was actually thinking about it yesterday. Should I make like YouTube memberships? I don't know, like there's no, there's no like real benefit to them, right? I don't know. Maybe there is. Okay, let's go buy the Mogwin set. Make it like my OnlyFans? What the fuck are you <laughs> Have you done a spinning chain run? I'm pretty sure I have done spinning chain. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, cool. Oh, he doesn't even have a helmet. True. He just has that. 20,000? What a ripoff. That's fine. <laughs> this is so stupid. Um, okay. Let's go grab a, fa a 5 and a 6. Did I do a family heads run? Yeah. Basically, almost every single unique skill in this game has basically been completed. Okay, let's go equip the fire too. What am I doing? Fire too. Oh, flame gravity strength. Must equip that too. Oh, and I need to buy a seal. True. I must buy a seal. Shard of Alexander? No, I have the Warrior's Jar Shard. The Warrior's Jar Shard is like the lesser version. You have to go kill Alexander. If you kill Alexander early, you get that. Which is 10% more weapon skill damage. The Shard of Alexander is 15%. It's so like, obviously... It's better to get the Shard of Alexander, but it's like much later in the playthrough. So we're like, if I'm just doing this one run, I'm just gonna kill him. 10% damage is fine. Um, okay. Let's go get a Sombra 5 and a 6. Right? Actually, let's go get a Golden Bell. How is the Acidic Spear and Liza P? I'm um, pretty good. I mean, Acid is gonna be good against, like, humans, so if you're fighting a human, it's best to use that. But if you're going to, like, with... Yeah, you could just use that. <laughs> but honestly, you could just use, like, the Acidic Grindstone, and it could probably just work better. But then again, you can save up your Grindstone slot. It's up to you, because I'm pretty sure the it's just a buff. The Fable Art is just a buff that just adds more Acid damage. Too far. White Phantom's lure run when? <laughs> but your family heads is actually good. Family heads is actually a very solid weapon skill. Does like a decent amount of damage. My only problem with the family heads, like outside of it being a flail, which is like a very mid weapon class, is that it gets a descaling in intelligence and its weapon skill purely scales of intelligence. I hate when that happens. It's super annoying. That's why I kind of wish you could like infuse like special weapons like you can in Dark Souls too. Would have made problems like that a lot less frustrating. White Shadows, I know what you meant, that's fine. Mm-mm. <laughs> Because there's so many weapons in this game that have like a skill that scales of a particular stat and it gets like a descaling in that stat. It's like, why? Why? And like so many other weapons like this scale of AL. Let's make them better. Balancing is kind of weird in this game. 
Everything that gets a D scaling, yeah. Some of the scalings could be improved. And if the scalings has made sense as well, it'd be nice because a lot of the scalings, they don't make sense. Why do dogs exist? Bad doggy, go away. NPC. You gonna spawn in? There we go. Damn it, I got staggered out of it. No! That's fine. Oh, come on. <laughs> Easy game. Nice. That is a Golden Vow acquired. Let's go grab a... Sumber 5 and a 6. We can just go to the Volcano Manor. Honestly, I can get a Sumber 7 over there too. Inquisitor's Grand is so sad. Would have been a baby Mogwin spear. Yeah, true. Just gets square off. That is true. It could have been a baby Mogwin spear. And it would have been nice because it would have been like a weapon that actually gets a faith scaling and actually gets bleed, which I think there's only like a couple other ones in like the Halo Scythe and stuff. Would have been interesting. But no. And it's hardly even a faith weapon with like D scaling and faith. Or is it D? No, I think it's a B scaling actually. I lie. I lie. Did he start off with this spear? No, we just grabbed it. We ran straight to Mog, Mog at the beginning and killed him. We did an early Mog. I mean, there's like a little bit of preparation. You got like Golden Val. We got a Reduvia. Got it to plus six. But that is in fact what we did. The chat wanted me to get it legit, so. We did it legit. DLC strats, yep. <laughs> we um, we killed Radon and then killed Moog. So basically right now I can access the DLC. Or actually 30 minutes ago. So after an hour, I could have accessed the DLC. And I'm at le level 69 too, so... That's pretty good. I probably wouldn't go through the DLC at level 69, but you can access it early. And if there's like items, like a Sombre 7 or some shit that you can get in the DLC early, it'd be actually insane. Actually, it wouldn't be really that insane, honestly. Because <laughs> I think it'd be easy to kill the Godskin Noble to get a Sombre 7. Bad doggy. Wait, did I pick up the Carrion Filigate? Either. Yeah. The Carrion Knight set. You still need cheats to reach Moog? No. I didn't use cheats to reach Moog. All you gotta do is kill one Great Rune boss, then you can start Varia's questline, of which I picked Radon. Because I can kill him earlier. Um, I don't need these soul seekers. Then all you gotta do is Varia's questline, and he gives you the item to go to Mogwin's palace. Then I just did that. So yeah. That's actually one thing I haven't done. I haven't done a charge fourth only run. I might do a charge fourth only run at one point. That'd be cool. Actually, I gotta go revive Radon with Cheat Engine. We gotta go do that. Um, revive bosses. Kaland. Radon. Make him alive. Okay. Do you grab attack, please? Thank you. Because I want to go kill him with this thingy. See how it performs. Why not? If you don't want to kill a Godric, you can kill a Rune Bear, and that works too. Wait, what? <laughs> you can kill a Rune Bear? I 
I asked about your membership because I'd like to support. Um... I might just make it anyway, we'll see. Must get the Sumber 6. And since we're here, might as well go kill. Might as well go kill the Godskin Noble. You could probably even get a Sumber 7 that way too. Dodge. Dodge. Elden Ring Lava. Weak as hell. You can kill a, a Rune Bear Vari moves to the Church of Rose too? Wait, really? Don't you have to speak to the... I think they speak to the fingers. Isn't that what, like, the criteria is? You have to go speak to, like, or see the fingers to, like, start the quest line? What would killing a Rune Bear have to do with that? This Ashwar is crazy. Can you kill Moog with his own weapon? I could probably, like, you know, revive Moog. I'll probably do him last, though. Because, like, he's 80% resist. That's a troll? Probably. What I get from believing my chat. Moog bleeds, yeah, it might be okay. And it still does like a decent amount of damage, even against 80% resist bosses, it's probably not the worst thing in the world. Against the these little guys, it'll be terrible because they're immune to fire damage. So literally it'd be doing zero damage against them. I only kill Radan and Moog. That is true. Will you do a consumables marathon? <laughs> a consumables marathon? I don't think so. I don't... I forgot to put on fucking Golden Bell spell. It's fine. I mean, maybe at one point. I think, like, the next marathon that I would want to do would be, like, the Guts' Greatsword Marathon, and I think there was something else that I wanted to do as well. I just realized... I forgot to... Ugh, I gotta go wrinkle the Katanas as well. I forgot about that. Can I, like, sit behind the pillar and just use this? Let's just use it, see what happens. I think these guys are resistant to fire damage. Nice. Oh, why would you hit me? That's not that long of an animation, honestly. Nice. Pro tip, if you want to cancel the spinning attack. Oh my god, we got the poise break. Actually insane. If you hit him as he's transforming... You will just cancel it. I'm committing. Literally one shot. <laughs> Guts gets a hella resist. They're not that resist. They're like 40% resist. That's fine. We can go get this a plus six now anyway. Doesn't matter. Um, let's go kill the dog and Renala. That's going to be the play. I need souls. Guts' greatsword marathon to be lit? Yeah. I have like a bunch of videos that I gotta work on. I think the next video that I do will be ranking all the magic types across all the souls games. Um, and then I might do like another top 5 Elden Ring builds video. Cause I've already done one, I'll do like another one. I have like so many top 5 Elden Ring build videos, but I'll just like make like another this average 5 broken builds. I'll make another one of those. Gotta get the Fire Scorpion charm. 
And then I want to rank all the katanas across all the games. Easiest run? Probably not the easiest run, because you can still, like, get hit. Still, like, a longer animation with a shorter range Ash of War. But it does do a lot of damage, so... <laughs> Top two sleep weapons. <laughs> Ranking the sleep weapons. One thing I actually haven't done is rank the um, frost weapons. I need to go spec into more blue flasks. Come here, doggy. Do the follow-up attack. Good dog. And he's dead. Poor pup. Poor guy. I prefer the Mogwin Sacred Spear than the Rykard weapon. It has the potential to do more damage. But in terms of ease of use, Rykard and Blasphemous Blade is just... Just built different. But like, if you know how to dodge attacks and you don't really care for like health regen, then the Mogwin Sacred Spear is probably the better option. But you can just like sit so far away and just spam the skill over and over again <laughs> with the Blasphemous Blade. It's like... Very brain dead. Is Moonveil the best katana? Well, if we're including, um... No, I don't think so. If we're including Bloodborne and Sekido <laughs> in the katana list, I don't think anything in Elden Ring is going to get number one. Um... I think Moonveil is the second best katana in this game. I think the Nagakibo is the the definitive best. Naga Kiba is amazing. Stupid range and like it gets the best damage as well. Not the best damage, but the second most damage. Go away. If you position yourself very well, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is top five. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is number one. <laughs> it's like the best spell in the entire game. But yeah, a lot of it has to do with positioning and like getting the correct talismans. But yeah, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike, I don't think there's anything in the game that's as good as that. I'm not gonna lie. Wait a minute. I don't have the requirements one-handed, but if, if I still use it, does it still do damage? No. <laughs> We're doing this, I don't care. Looks like you can still do the animation. I guess not. <laughs> Wait, let me buff. Oh, I can't even. I don't even get to buff. Catch flame is amazing too. Yeah. I mean, the best spells in the game would be like Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. Then I think Knight's Comet is there too. Um, then you have Carrion Slicer and Catch Flame. Those will be your best ones. No, come on, girl. That's not gonna kill me. We're going for it. I don't care. Stagger the Bloodhound Knight. Oh, I didn't stagger the Bloodhound Knight? You know what? Fuck this shit. We're going for the kill. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, now we're going for the kill. And now she's dead. Go away, dragon. Can you teleport me already? What's everyone's favorite boss arena in this game? Coolest boss arena. Take his flame is pure fire damage? Yes, it is. Sekiro is the best katana in the Soul series? That is true, yeah. The Kusabi Maru. Is Nihil a charge attack? No. Rykard. Elden Beast. 
Rykot is pretty cool, yeah. The Regal Answer Spirit? Godrix is underrated. <laughs> God Skin Door. Placid Dusax. Fortisax. Fortisax Skybox is amazing. Rykot is garbage. I would say Malekith. Renalo. Redan Elden Beast. Redan is actually pretty cool, yeah. I give it that one. Redan is based. Speaking of which, let's just go kill Redan. I and mean, we already have killed him at the beginning of the run, but that was without the Mogwin Sacred Spear, so I was gonna kill him with the uh, Mogwin Sacred Spear. Oh, we can teleport there too. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> So at least use Flame Grammy Strength. Okay, dude, can you like give me one second, bro? Okay, now we can fight. Oh, perfect RNG. Actually, Pro wasn't perfect, but... It actually was perfect, no way. <laughs> no way. Well, that's an easy one cycle Radon. Where are you going, buddy? You're not going anywhere. How do I build the bandit's curve sword? Um, I recommend getting a couple of those bad boys and just power stancing them. Wait, why did I do that? There's a grace right there. Am I stupid? Are you able to teleport to that bonfire? I mean, I did beat him already at the beginning of the run. Um, but that was before I grabbed the Mogwin Sacred Spear. And then I just used Cheat Engine to, like, revive him. And because I revived him with Cheat Engine and already had the Grace, I could just teleport to the Grace and he was still there, so... That is the story behind that. Let's go grab the Fire Scorpion Charm. Turn on the fucking blurps? No, never again. If you guys want to communicate using funny stuff, go use the emotes. The mid emotes I have. Does this place look more yellow? <laughs> Am I tripping? It feels like it looks more yellow. Especially on that side, that looks very yellow. Um, Power Sands Cross Naginata is good? Yes, very good. Extremely good, in fact. Looks very yellow. With a blood infusion? Um, bandits... No, if you're gonna go with a bleed type build, I'd go with the scavenger's curve sword instead, and probably power sense those, but you can only get one per playthrough. With the bandits, you just go into, like, damage, so, like, it just depends what build that you want. You could go pair them with, like, a faith type build and have, like, a flame art infusion, and you could put flaming strike on both of them. And if you put flaming strike on both, then you can buff them and just do ridiculous damage. And if you go up against enemies that are, like, resist to fire damage, you could just change it to, like, sacred instead. You could just do that, and put Sacred Blade instead on the thing, so... That could be an option. Unless you don't care to use spells, and you can just go with like a Dexterity build, and then... I don't know, you could probably put Spinning Slash on the weapon as well. Why would you need the Fire Charm for more damage? <laughs> to kill them even faster. That's why. Because the Mogwin Sacred Spear does fire damage. Well, the weapon skill does pure fire damage. But I think, like, I think that's the best way to build around the bandits. It's probably like Flame Art Infusion, Fire, All Into Faith, and then double Flaming Strikes. And then go double Sacred Blade when you're fighting like Moog and Fire Giant and stuff. Wouldn't Lord of Blood be better? Yeah, but I, I can't get that right now. I can get that after I fight the Draconic Trace Sentinel, which I can go fight him right now. But yeah, I can put on both of those things, so... We could do both of Fire damage, a good damage type. It's good. It's okay. It's like pretty, it's pretty average actually. A lot of enemies are very weak to it, but a lot of enemies are pretty resist to it. And in cases like this where it's raining, you're going to be doing even less damage. And when like you're standing in water as well. But you have like bosses like Radagon, Millennia. They're weak to fire damage. Um, but then you have bosses like the Godskin... Um, Moog, Fire Giant, all those bosses are resist to fire damage.
but also typically in base like enemies themselves. A lot of things that have like open flesh and like not wearing armor tends to be weaker to fire damage. You can go check out my damage type video. I made like a whole chart based on like all the enemies that like are weak to particular damage types or res just resist to them. <clears throat> fire damage is not good because of the rain. I mean, it's a valid point, honestly. <laughs> It's just still, it's still good, it can be good, but it definitely is a downside. Because part of the reason why lightning damage is amazing is because of the rain too. Um, Draconic Tree Sentinel time. And it's raining. <laughs> Let's teleport again. But you could just do this, you could just like teleport and just restart the game if it's raining and you're using fire damage, so it's not that big of a deal. It's not that crazy. Faith made this game easy for me, Blasphemous Blade, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. That is basically all that you need. That is basically all that you need, yeah. Water makes lightning damage good, yeah. Well, if it's raining or if you're surrounded by a body of water, lightning damage gets pretty sure it's like a 20% damage increase, so. Pretty good stuff. And it's like a lot of enemies that is really weak to lightning damage too. Basically, anything that has armor is weak to lightning damage and piercing damage. Which a lot of the enemies in this game wear an armor set, so. <laughs> there you go. Can't forget the Erd Steel. <laughs> It's the dagger is good. It's a good dagger. But it's still a dagger, so... How good can it really be? Can you do one-shot builds in New Game Plus levels? Maybe, I don't know. I'm not really, like, much into, like, one-shotting build things, you know what I'm saying? What level is the weapon at? We're at plus six right now. I can get it to plus nine after- Actually, I can get it to plus ten after this boss. Because I can get a Sombra 7, 8, and a 9. I can get a Sombra 7 right now if I just killed the Godskin Noble, but... I don't really need a plus 10 weapon, as you can see. <laughs> I don't really need it. Is it going to transform? Oh, I got a Poise Break? <clears throat> no, come back closer. You're going too far away. I won. We did a chat. We beat the game. <laughs> I told you guys, getting the weapon is going to be harder than actually playing the game with the weapon. <laughs> I think the only boss that we might potentially struggle against... I don't know. Probably nothing, really. We'll be doing enough damage. That God's can do it might be a problem, but like you can hit both of them at once, and they're both weak to bleed. Um, gold free might be a problem, but like I can get a plus ten weapon before then, so like right now, I don't know. Sleep pots not allowed? No. Every single time I do these runs, I never allow sleep pots. But yeah, this is like one of the few weapon skills that I've yet to do a playthrough with, so. I don't have many weapon skills left. I'm- I don't know. I'm not gonna bother doing a playthrough with the Blasphemous Blade, like, I've played with it enough to know that it's <laughs> fucking stupid. Same thing with the Darkwing Greatsword. Have you ever done a level 1 run? Yeah. Many times I've done a level 1 run, just a normal one. I've done a level 1 torch only run. Or is I only allowed to use a torch? I did a level 1 run cosplaying as an Albanuric. <laughs> and I even did a level 1 no hit run, so yeah. I think all of those runs are on my YouTube channel. You can go check out my challenge runs playlist. This spear looks so menacing. It does. What's everyone's favorite weapon based on design? For me, it would be like... The Devourer Scepter. Marika's Hammer. And the Rusted Anchor. That's my top three. Actually, Golden Order Greatsword too. I like that one. I have not made my Dragon's Dogma 2 character yet because I have- I don't even know if I'm gonna play the game. We're gonna play the first Dragon's Dogma. Helfen Steeple. Blasphemous Blade, Godslayer. Lucerne? 
actually based. Dragon King's Cragblade. Golden Epitaph. The Coded Sword. Malachus Blade. Should we go get this to, Should we get a plus seven right now? No, we're gonna get a somber seven. I mean, we're gonna go down there anyway, because we're gonna get the, um... The Lord of Blood Exaltation, so... We might as well. We pay a trip to the underground. Godskin Stitcher is peak. Zweihander. Based. Blasphemous Blade makes the game very easy, yeah. A lot of weapons do, but Blasphemous Blade probably does it the best. Hate's going down here. It's just one of those things, you gotta memorize it. We're gonna see my buddy Steven. Anything with range, really? Yeah. If only the Flamberge had the Claymore moveset. If the Flamberge had the Claymore moveset, then the Claymore wouldn't have much of a use, honestly. The Flamberge is never gonna have the Claymore moveset in every game. Flamberge is always gonna be your just regular ass and bleed. Great sword. Oh my god. <laughs> Steven did not like that at all. He was not a fan. Do you think this game should have had an actual Elden Ring that gives hella stats like the Radagon Sorcil? <laughs> an actual Elden Ring. Well, there's like there's no rings in this game. They're talismans instead. So. That's gonna kill me. You named him Steven? Yes. I named him, like, two years ago. A long time ago. Oh my god, it actually worked. I thought I was gonna die to that fool. Never mind. We good. Oh, come on, man. Where is that thing even shooting from? How did he get there? We're good. Naming something this to kill it? I have to give my damage testing guy a name. Look, first of all, Steven has killed me way many more- actually not many more times. He's killed me enough times, okay? <laughs> Don't feel sorry for Steven. I don't include the gameplay where he's not cooperating with me and being an absolute dick. Can I steal your Sasuke poster? No. You could buy it at wish.com. That's where I got mine. I mean, these, these three behind me, these are disc plates. That one is just on Wish. It just comes as like a regular like canvas. You gotta actually like, get the framing and build the framing yourself. Which I did. I had to buy some like... So oh, come on. Like, why does a fire stay there forever? Kill a thing. Kill it. Nice. <laughs> it's another Steven. Did you guys know that every single omen looks different? No two omen look the exact same. Now you guys know. If you guys didn't already. Ah, uh, Mikhail, what's going on, man? Love the new vid? I like the new video, too. Yeah, what's everyone's thoughts on my new video? Did you guys disagree or agree with anything? Better not have disagreed. Be fake Yui fans if you did. They're all beautiful? I agree. Um, should Moog L2 had health regeneration? <laughs> I can't imagine if this actually had health regeneration too. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, no, it should... <laughs> should not have had health regeneration.
I disagree because Vikes wasn't number one. Like, I'm pretty sure Rusty took it back. He said that Mogul and Psycho Spear should have been number one, which is still valid. But I don't know why the Vikes War Spear was anywhere near the top 10, honestly. Bloodhound Fang should be higher. I did talk about it. I actually did have it at number four. I mentioned that in the video. I had it at number four. And then I put it down, because I was like, projectiles just make the game too easy. And having synergy with faith and intelligence is pretty good too, of which that doesn't have any synergy with faith and intelligence. It is what it is. Okay, I need all of you guys to come here. And all of you just die. Don't kill me, please. Oh my god. The perfect amount of vigor. Fantastic. See, technically 25 Vigor is all that you need. Nothing else matters. We actually might need more though. <laughs> because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be tanking attacks the entire time. So... Can't believe we didn't have the Eclipse Shuttle on there. Dynast Finest has 40 iframes, that's insane. Yeah, Bloody Hellas is nice. Hand of Millennia should have had Health Regen, Scarlet Rot, and 99 Dex soft cap. Yeah, I mean, there was reasons as to why it didn't get Scarlet Rod, I think because, like, you know, it's like, I don't know. It would go against the lore, right? Because it's made out of, like, anal... Like, I forget what it's called, but that material is meant to go counteract the Scarlet Rod. But it's weird because she, like, does Scarlet Rod damage with the weapon in the second phase, right? Does she? I don't think she does, actually. No, I lie. I think it's just with, like, the AoE attacks. Um, But it definitely should have had at least, like, health regen. Your point about ease of use was spot on because the biggest problem with the Dark Moon is the amount of prep you have to do to get the good damage. Whereas Blasphemous Blade is just Gold of and L2. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I mean, it's still like not that hard to go acquire because it go like Godfrey's Icon is just killing one boss and the Jellyfish Shield is like very early on too. You don't have to kill anything to pick that up. Mm -mm. But like, if you wanted to maximize your damage, then you need to get like a lot of stuff. But like, you don't even need to, because like the fact that there's frost build up already makes you take a decent amount of damage. At least Millennia doesn't bleed you. That is correct. That is correct. I wish that the hand of Millennia had hyper armor, because like it really doesn't. You get staggered out of it pretty quickly. Um, I wish it worked better with the multi hit talismans. And I wish I had more bleed too, so I could just proc bleed faster. And it consumes a lot of stamina too. Wait a minute. Let's go grab the Sombra 8 and 9. Let's get this bad boy to plus 10. Hardest run ever, yes. Analoid Gold, that's the one. She can proc Scarlet Rod with the weapon hits in the second phase. Not every attack, just some attacks. Yeah, with Waterfowl she does. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Like, the Hand of Millennia should have been, like, one of the best weapons in the entire game. Like, if you get it off, like, you know, the final boss in a complete fuck-off location, in a hidden area behind a hidden area, of the most broken boss in the game, it should have dropped the best weapon. Probably not the best weapon, because I would have gatekeeped pretty hard, but... It should have been a top 10. Have I played the Yakuza games before? No. They seem pretty cool though. If spinning weapon of spinning wheel proc sword insignia, I'd be number one. That is true. That or if I had an arcane scaling. Ah, oh, fuck's sakes. <laughs> Would have been nice. Or if we could buff it. Imagine if you could buff it as well. It's pairing it alongside Blood Flame Blade. Why did I get off my horse? <laughs> okay, it's a Sombra 8 and a 9. Let's go get this to plus 10. The Moog Spear is busted and the Hand of Millennia is whatever. Yeah. Kind of sad stuff. I mean, it's really good in PvP. 
Ever since, like, the poise changes. Have we done a gaze as well run yet? Yeah, I have. We have done a run with the gaze as well. Like, the weapon skill is, like, amazing against all enemies that are smaller. Against larger enemies, it, like, bugs out and doesn't spin that fast. Which is kind of annoying. I don't know why it does that, but it does. It worked, like, the same way, like, the Death's Poker used to work. Remember how, like, the Death's Poker was bugged out? To where, like, against, like, larger bosses, it would just, like, glitch out and you, like, started moving, like, at 10 frames? <laughs> it was, like, really bad. Um... But the best thing about the geezer is the charged heavy attacks. Um, one-handed charged heavy is the way to go. So if you're going to use the geezer's well, just use that attack. Paired alongside the multi-hit rings, axe talismans, spikes cracks too. And you get to delete everything in the game. It does a lot of damage because the, this, the wheel just spins a whole bunch. Because for some reason, the um, heavy attack works with the multi-hit talismans, but the weapon skill doesn't. Don't know why. The hit stop mechanic, yeah. So if they fix that, it would be amazing. Because like the recent buff, well like the most recent recent buff, I guess, made the weapons like spin a lot faster, and that's what kind of made it bugged out. But like the fact that it's spinning like twice as fast now means that it's doing like a lot more damage. How much damage are you looking at? Can I tank that attack? I can't. This guy does a lot of poise. Really? Raptor Talons, yeah. I mean, all claw weapons are really good. Claws are just amazing classes. Probably the most underrated weapon class in the game. Wait, Raptor Talons, Bloodhound Claws, Venomous Fang. Look at his health, what the hell is that? <laughs> Wait, just walk into this place? Thank you. It's a very nice range. Okay, now we can put on this now. Now we have the talisman set up that we want. We're basically broken. Is he weak to fire? No, he's weak to damage, yeah. <laughs> I have a plus 10 weapon, so... That'll do it, honestly. I don't think this thing can get blood out, but, you know... Plus 10 weapon. Pretty sure the Black Knife Assassin is immune to bleed. I'm disappointed you don't grunt like Moog do <laughs> when you use it. Urgh. Should I go into Faith for Flame? I might just do that for flame gummy strength, so I don't have to keep putting on the um actually no, it's fine. I'll deal with a little bit of inconvenience. We're going to Vigor. Slight inconvenience, but it's okay. I can just keep switching back and forth. The red's glow from the spearhead is super sick. You know, the um the gold free is not weak to fire damage. He's weak to lightning damage, I believe. Um, and piercing damage, but yeah, not fire damage. But yeah, plus 10 weapon with the Mogwin Sacred Spirit, 40 Arcane. With all these buffs, will um, yeah. It'll fuck anybody up, honestly. Oh, the Carrion Crest. I probably could, but I'd like more damage instead, so probably not. <laughs> probably not. I mean, I could get rid of the Ritual Sword Talisman, because I'm kind of just, like, trading out every single time that I use it. It's not really benefiting off it. But then again, we're doing like so much damage. Can you stop attack? Okay. Okay, do the follow-up attack, please. Thank you. Jeez. 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 <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> 
That's disgusting. What the fuck is that? Did I touch it? I did, yeah. That was dumb. <laughs> that was actually stupid. Well, he clearly didn't stand a chance. Look at him. He's all shriveled up. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Hello again. Didn't touch the cake. Okay, shut the fuck up. I'm um, the cheese of truth, yeah. Most balanced game. This is why Elden Ring weapons are just built different. You can get overpowered so easily. Like, you can't do this in, like, other games. I mean, you probably could in some cases, but, like, not... Not like this. Not like this that easily. Not this easily. Um... Damage. Damage. 30 Vigor is a healthy amount. Like, how far are we into the game? We're two hours in. That's pretty bad. Uh, uh, where are you from? Australia? Yes, I am from Australia. Writing from Ibiza. Nice. How is life in Ibiza? Actually, let's go kill this thingy. Even enemies that can't be blood out. Doesn't matter. I didn't even have the stupid warrior's jaw shot on. Could have been even more damage. Good, that's what's up. That's what's up. Look, I actually wanted to do an Elden Ring tools run, but I think it'd be like very boring. Like it would be terrible, like really bad. It'd be like a 17 hour playthrough. But I haven't done one. Have we done Soluria Street Ashivor run? Yeah, I have. Like basically like almost every single weapon skill I've done a playthrough with. Do it? <laughs> I've done a run with basically every weapon skill. Yojo did it a while back. It really is a slog. It basically just be like the ancestral infant head run. <laughs> Was it easy? Yes. Solarius tree is really good. There were some cases where like it wasn't that easy. Cause like the best way to use it is fully charging it and sometimes bosses just like didn't let you fully charge. You have to like keep running backwards. Imagine if like the heavy attack when buffed actually worked the same way as like Moog's attack and like could shoot out some blood flame attack. That'd have been cool. That would have been even better. The regal omen, yeah. I have no idea. And that's like a remembrance item as well. You get that off a remembrance boss. The regal omen bonds. We didn't get like a fucking Morgoth weapon. I don't want weapon. A Morgoth spell. None of those incantations that he gets. No, we got this stupid regal omen baron thingy, whatever the fuck it's called. A Morgoth's Cursed Sword Ashivor run? I've already done that too. Look, we'll go over the list of the things that I have done. There's, there, there isn't much that I haven't done, honestly. It's basically like all the broken ones. Everything that's like really broken, I haven't really done. Which, now we're doing this one. Okay, Elden Ring skills. I still want to do like the ashes of war, like just the regular ashes. Um, because I actually want to make a video ranking every single one and then ranking all the unique skills as well. So it'll be two separate videos. But like unique skills. Shit that I have done. I haven't done torch attack, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done fire breather early. I haven't done a buckler parry run. Um, I've done that. That's done. That's done. That's done. That one's done. So is that one. Zoom in. Um, that's done. I've played with the Curl Shield, I've done a playthrough with it, but it wasn't an Ash of War run, though. Um, I'm not gonna bother using the Darkwing Greatsword. That would just be too easy. 
That's done. Can't really do that. That's done. That's done. Can't really do that. Not gonna bother with the Blasphemous Blade. Um, you can't really do that. I've already done Blood Blade, which is like the same thing, but just like better, I guess. I'm not gonna bother doing Clint Glenstone Chris. That would just be too easy as well. Unless I do it. I mean, it'll just be easy, no. <laughs> Sword of Night and Flame is done. That's done. I've even done a Health and Steeple Ashivore run. <laughs> I remember that. Um, that's done. I'm not gonna bother doing Sword of Saint Trinal. There's like two bosses in this game that can be like slept. Um, have I done Death Ritual Spear? I don't think I have. But I think I have. It might have been... Actually, no, I don't think I have. I haven't bothered because it's really good. I might do it though. Um, that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. As is that one. Did that. Did that. I haven't done Ruin's Greatsword. I could do that. We're doing that now. Done that. Done that. Did that. Did that one. Did that. That's done. I'm not gonna bother doing Al Alabaster's Lord Sword because I've already done Onyx's Lord Sword and it's like the same shit, but just fucking way better. Um, can't really do that. That's done. That's done. That one's done and it sucks. That one's done. Those two are done. Actually, I haven't done Wing of Estelle, but there's no need to do it. But I've done Bastard Stars, though. Um, there's no point of using the Death's Poker, either. That would just be too easy. Same thing as Bolt of Grand Sax. I mean, I probably could do Bolt of Grand Sax. Might be boring, though. That's done. That one's done. I did that one, too, but I did, like, the heavy attacks only. Can't really do that. I did those two. That one's also done. That one's also done. I didn't do an entire run with it, but I did use it a bunch. It's a bow. I don't want to use a bow anyway. That's done. That one's done. That one's done. I, that one's basically like impossible. Eclipse Shuttle is like so bad. That is like borderline impossible. Um, not gonna bother doing Bloodhound thing. That one's done. That one's done. I don't think I'm gonna bother doing Moonveil as well. I did that one. Can't do that. That's impossible. Um, cause that fucking sucks. That one's done. I did that. Actually, did I do Rose's Axe? I did. Yeah, I did. Um, that's like the same thing as Stormcaller, but just worse. I never did on Stormcaller. Did that one. Did that one. I have done that one. I've done that one. I haven't done the Watchdog stuff. You might do the Watchdog stuff. Even though it is really good still. I've done Ground Slam, which is like the same shit as Earth Tree Slam. But just worse. Um, I haven't done Falling Star Beast Jaw. We could do that. Because it has gotten like nerfed. That's impossible. That's kind of impossible too. As is that one. And have I done All Davis's Vortex? I don't know if I've done All Davis's Vortex. Hundred <laughs> percent completed the game now. We haven't hundred percent completed the game yet. We're not gonna beat the game until everything is done. Waterfowl only? Yeah, we've done Waterfowl only. Can't use Darkwing Greatsword? Scared? Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared of it. Earth Tree Greatsword can be done with the Wraith Calling Bell? I probably could do it with that, yeah. Remember Eleanor's Pole Blade was a run you didn't want to do, but you did, and now I dislike it even more? Um... I think it was a run that I always wanted to do. I don't think it was... I don't think it was I put it on that list of, like, the broken tier. But it made me definitely like it less after I did a run. I'm not gonna lie. Which weapon was the biggest surprise? For some reason, I thought the Sacred Relic Sword was gonna be mid. The Sacred Relic Sword is actually one of the best weapons in the entire game. It didn't make it to the top 10, but it was close. It was like number 11. Or 12. But I initially had like the Sacred Relic Sword like... I ran about like 80 or 90 on my list. And then I did a playthrough with it. I'm like, am I stupid? <laughs> Where have I been? Like, why did I not think it was going to be like amazing? Maricus Hammer did surprise me as well, yeah. Which has like always been my favorite weapon and I just wanted it to be better. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a playthrough with it. And then it just ended up being amazing. It's actually really good. Do a run with one of those mods where you become the boss. Probably not. <laughs> 
I have done dragon spells only. I did like dragon spells, the breath attacks only, and I've done like the dragon spells only using dragon claw and dragon maw as well. So I did two of those. Did he beat the games using the Vari's bouquet? Yes, and the Vari's bouquet is definitely the worst weapon in the entire game. Shit is really bad. Shit is really bad. Don't think there's a single weapon worse than that one. I'm not gonna lie. Why did you subject yourself to that? Because I hadn't done it and I want to see it. What I was like. I don't need that bell bearing. Why did they make it so bad? I don't know. I think they wanted to have like one meme weapon. And that one, I guess they chose that one. It's probably like one of the first weapons they like designed. And they are using like the Dark Souls 3 formula. It's like, oh, this one can be good because you can buff it and it gets bleed. So therefore let's make the base damage completely trash. Which they do a lot of that in Dark Souls 3. They like try to overbalance things. And they're just making them fucking completely trash. Um, but yeah, it's weird to think that the Vari's Bouquet is a weapon in the same game. As this thingy. <laughs> Fix it now? No, I turned off the blurps because they've been annoying me lately, so. I turned them off. So all the alerts are muted. Well, not all the alerts, but just the sound effects. Crystal knife is a meme weapon. <laughs> Could have told me. Well, after you used it the first time, did you think that it was gonna work the second time? I don't know. <laughs> You get it off the same quest too? True. <laughs> True. That was a bug. <laughs> Ivory Sickle is definitely more of a meme. Yeah. Honestly, most daggers are a meme. So are whips. How close was the Salurius tree making it to the top 10? Um... Not that close, honestly. It was like, it's more like top 20 type weapon. Like, the weapons that were close to the top 10 were, like, the Sacred Relic Sword, the Marias, and the Death Ritual Spear. I think there's, like, the three that I wanted to put in the top 10. There may have been something else. Glenstone Chris is carried by the follow-up? No. <laughs> if you're using the Glenstone Chris, I would never use the follow-up attack. The best thing about the Glenstone Chris is that projectile, because you can just fully charge that bad boy. And it can go so far. And it has tracking and it does so much damage for like 12 FP. It's like stupid. Stupid damage. But the follow-up attack does go further than like Glintstone Pebble does. But yeah, you're gonna do way you're gonna get way more damage with the projectile. Because you can pair it alongside, you know, the magic tier, and it can be fully charged, so having Glintstone I had the Godfrey's icon. Yeah, it's gonna do way more damage. No point of using the follow-up attack. Um, tell me a weapon that you wish would come to the DLC. Mine is the Demon Skull. Um, probably the Demon Skull, yeah. It's a good one. Just watch your new vid. I can't wait to try the Wing of Estelle. It is really good. You can just spam all of those attacks and have a fantastic time. Five honorable mentions. Um, the five that I mentioned. <laughs> but did I mention three? Well, those three, and you could probably say the Salurius Tree Spear, and what else? What else is really good? I'm trying to think. My brain's hurting me. The Dragon Halberd's pretty nice. That one's pretty cool. Dragon King Cragblade can be okay too. Golden Order Greatsword? No. No. Gonna see your new vid? Okay. Will you do a top 10 worst list? I already have. And I disagree with it already, so. It was a while ago, and... It was kind of like a meme list. It was not accurate. I just like complained about a bunch of just random stuff. Oh yeah, Ruins Greatsword is pretty close. Like, I don't know, it's hard to put the Ruins Greatsword on a top 10 list when, you know, the Blasphemous Blade does the exact same thing, but better. Godric's Dragon Weapon? <laughs> the Grafted Dragon? Was not even close to the top 10. No. It's actually pretty decent, like the Ash of War, or the weapon skill. 
is actually good. It does some nice damage, doesn't give you much FP, and it's a pretty quick animation. It's not too bad. Um, but it's a fist weapon that can't be two-handed. It gets the least amount of range out of all the fists, despite it actually having like a dragon model. But that whole dragon model is like invisible. It doesn't have a hitbox, which is silly. I know, if you could two-hand the Grafted Dragon, and if it actually had a larger hitbox that matched with its model, it would be a lot better. I did Wing of Estelle in a Power Stance run, it was pretty easy. Oh yeah, the, um, the Magma Worm Scale Sword, yeah. The Magma Worm Scale Sword, that would have been... Yeah, that one's pretty close too. That one's probably top 15. I like that weapon, that one's nice. One of these days, we actually might go rank all the weapons on stream. Wait, do you guys like that? We'll just like do a ranking. I'm not gonna make a video on it. But we could just like rank them on stream together. Maybe one of these days. It might be a tier list. I'll do a tier list where I just like use my own opinions and not take your guys' into account. And I'll probably do that like a month before the game comes out or the DLC comes out. Yeah, at class I blast most blade, yeah. There's not much of an incentive to use it. I trust your ranking. I trust my ranking too. Um, I don't think this playthrough has really changed my opinion on the Mogwin Sacred Spear. I still think it's top three. I still don't think it's as like I just still don't think it's as good as Blasphemous Blade or Darkman Greatsword. But yeah. Definitely top three. Grafted Dragon would be so much cooler if it was the same size as the one the boss uses? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all that running, we're finally at the next boss. It's like the worst part of the game. Going from Morgoth to the Fire Giant? Actually terrible. They should have put like a boss in between. I did not have my Wondrous Flask. Why is that? Print of the Death Staff is best if you spec it's a high int and faith, yeah. It's like 80 int and faith that you need before it actually starts to like outdamage everything else. Which is very, very high. Hmm. Okay, so I guess it's a fire giant, a boss that's resist to fire damage. I'm probably not gonna use Golden Bell. It's gonna waste my FP. I forgot to reallocate my uh, reallocate my flasks. That's fine. <laughs> Good jump. I actually, stay at full health. Can I? Is it gonna hit his leg? I know about all this. Well, that worked a little better. It's not beginner friendly? No. Can you break this type of thing? Nice. Good one. <laughs> Good one. Do you always gotta be rolling and stuff? I'm not gonna be able to kill him, I need to go reallocate my flasks. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, let's just go do that. I'm not gonna... Not gonna bother... Wasting my time. That's kind of annoying. It goes to the kids from the top. Like, this boss is so annoying. Um, that's fine. Five, where to six? Six FP flasks, that should be enough. That way I could use Gold of Owl as well. 
Gina was just raging about the fire giant earlier. It's a terrible boss fight. It's like, I just, there's nothing good about the boss fight in my opinion. Maybe it's like design. And some attacks can be kind of cool, but like... <laughs> I thoroughly despise this boss. There's never been an instance of which I really enjoyed fighting this thing. Like, never. Unless I've been using like a broken ass weapon. Then it can be fun to just melt him, but... Yeah, pretty mid. Look at this, he's instantly rolling. I just got here. I just got here. Why are you rolling? Ew, the damage is so mid. I wish I'd attack at a hitbox, like when you swing the weapon down. How like Moog gets a hitbox there. That'd have been cool. Good RNG. That's not good RNG. Hmm. And I think I need to get the carry for the good crest. I'm not benefiting off the um the Lord of Blood excitation. It just doesn't work against larger bosses. Because when you proc bleed against a larger boss, it goes to where like the middle of the boss actually is. And like, he's like all the way up top, because obviously you have to proc bleed on like a nearby an enemy. But for larger bosses, apparently that is not nearby. <laughs> Which is very silly. So I guess like Placid Dusax and Fire Giant, this shit just doesn't work. Take a step forward, please. That's fine, I guess. Good RNG. That works. Second phase. Nice. Flame gummy strength. Nice. Oh, that's fine. I could have went for a third attack, but I have no FP. <sighs> Three flasks left. Flame Gummy Strength again, why not? Why not? Second phase cutscene is goaded. I ain't know about all that. He's gonna roll, but... Might as well do a little bit of damage. I did the follow-up. Thank you. You might as well just roll again, why not? Like, why actually hit with your fist, when you can just roll? GG. It was still not that challenging. I forgot to go buy some gold pickled foul food. That's okay. We can use these. Don't need these remembrances. You can tell the fire giant has been bought up there. His <laughs> somersaulting skills. Hmm. <laughs> Finally good at the fire giant now, but it was my second hardest boss. On my first run, was it? It's just like a matter of staying in front of him. As soon as like you recognize his attacks, you can like meet up where his hand's gonna land. That's about it. His chest face is hella cool. Sure. Sure, buddy. Did you see the um, Sax Slave Gale's latest top 10? I think you might have competition. Sax Slave Gale? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> I might have competition? Impossible. Level 92. Have a lot of points to respec. My int is 99 and my mind is about 65. We're using the Grave Scythe now. 
That weapon is beyond broken. The Gravesath is really good. It's paired alongside Blood Flame Blade or having a Cult Infusion. Put on like Phantom Slash. Spinning Weapon is especially good as well. Spinning Weapon is actually really good. Fake UE fan watching other videos? Yeah, I, you guys are cheating on me. Watching another person's videos. Let's go check out this Sax's Gale. Sax Gale. Who is this person? Top 10 iconic screams in the Soulsborne series? I was literally gonna make that video. What? <laughs> this guy has to be watching my stuff. I was gonna make top 10 Soulsborne screams. That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Yui stocks and shambles. Is Death's Poker any good? Yes. Top 5 weapon in this game. I'm selling my shares. <laughs> we don't care about Melina. No one cares. Go away. Top 10 for sure, yeah. Death's Poker is amazing. It's probably not the easiest thing to use because it's not like the quickest animation in the world and you can get interrupted out of it, but like the damage and the frostbite proccing is undeniably amazing. Spinning strikes is better than spinning weapon. Hell no. Nah. Spinning weapon is better. Because spinning weapon can spin faster. And get the attack out quicker. And you could do like just as much damage in the time that you could use spinning strikes. Because like spinning strikes is like a slower spinning animation, but you get like no hyper armor. You get staggered out of it very quickly. Um, but yeah, spinning strikes does have more range and it can hit like around you. Um, and obviously it gets a follow up attack, like the light and heavy attack follow up. Can be pretty cool, but no, you, you need to use spinning weapon. I did an entire playthrough using spinning weapon. And I think I actually used the Grave Scythe as well. So the Grave Scythe or the Cross Naginata, whatever one I used. You can go check that run out on my VOD channel. Top 3 anime? Um, I don't know. I like Code Geass a lot. I like One Piece. I've been watching One Piece for like 10 years now. Probably longer than that actually. Probably like 11 years. Um, and I don't know. Maybe Hunter Hunter. I like that. It's pretty cool. Most underrated weapon in my opinion. Um, probably like the Death Ritual Spear. I think that one's very underrated. I'm actually, I'm not really too sure what people rate weapons, you know? It's hard to really see where people rate the weapons. I don't really see like other people's like rankings. Have you seen Jojo? Yeah, I'm not a fan. I watched it like a long time ago. I watched like the first season in a bit and it was cool. You caught up with the manga of what? No, to the ones that I mentioned, no. I mean, I try to watch the, uh, if you're talking about Hunter Hunter, I try to watch the manga. I try to read the manga. I got bored of the Dark Continent arc. That shit was like so much dialogue and I got bored. I'm like, I'm too good at this. One Piece? No, I'm not, no. I've just been watching it. I'd rather, like, just wait a week for an episode than wait a week for a chapter. Like, if it was finished, I would've just read it, but it's not finished yet, so... I've just been watching it. And, like, it's actually been pretty good watching it because, like, the past couple seasons, or past couple arcs, they've done really well with, like, their art direction or their animation style. It's been pretty good. Will I do Plassey? Yes, we'll do Plassey. Season 1 is ass for Jojo. I watched like the first season, I watched like half of the second season and I kind of tapped out. I was like, this it's okay, but it's not for me. Do I like Death Note? It's okay. The first half of Death Note is better than the second half, that's for sure. The first, it's like Dark Souls 1. That's <laughs> what Death Note is like. The second half is like, it's like the same thing, but it's like worse. It kind of drags on a little bit. That's not gonna hit me, right? Damn. <laughs> I didn't even notice the damage. I was just looking at like my health. 
Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me, that damage is not fucking bad. That's... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> I thought it was actually gonna be like, not this much damage, I'm not gonna lie. I can tank that attack. Now I'm gonna die! <laughs> Look at his health! <laughs> That's fine. Well, let's run that shit back. <laughs> Good, I get to watch it again, yeah. We'll see if I can get them, like, both caught up in the explosion, because, like, the first time they both didn't get caught up in it. I could use Hellish Brewery and get more damage. Actually, I don't have the faith. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, both of you come this way. Watch me get, like, stuck on this boss for, like, an hour now. I'm not, but... We might die again, though. That works. That works. Nice. Oh, don't do that. What well, that was... They both died anyway. I could have done way more damage. If he just didn't... If he went for the transformation instead, actually probably would have killed them in one attack. They probably all would have died, I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy. It would have done way more damage. That's so sad. So sad. He had to stagger me. What a dick. I cannot believe that happened. Okay, confirmed Mogwin Sacred Spear is a good weapon. That much is confirmed. If you guys didn't know, now we do. Best OST, yeah. I still think Fortisax has the best OST, but... Godskin is definitely up there. I think I just like hate the Godskin a bit more because I just don't like the boss, so... The pillars are the best friend, yeah. Actually, I don't really care for the pillars in the Malekith fight because this is like a 1v1 fight. Like, pillars are really good in duo boss fights because you can like help separate them. Um, it's going to health. Let's be responsible and level up Vigor for like the first time in my life. Fortisax phase 2 sounds kind of echoey, it's weird. It's like reverberated noise. It sounds like more like, like heavy bass. But it makes it sound like more menacing, honestly. I like the sound of it. Run it back. I probably should have run it back, honestly. And hopefully I could have got like a... Th I don't know. We're gonna revive them again. Go fight them. <laughs> Maybe after the run. We'll go revive the gods can do it. See if we can actually go kill them in like just three attacks. Because you can actually like... Because obviously you can do a bunch more damage after they're dead. You can like hit their like corpse or like their animation after they're de dead to do even more damage. I can hit them behind? Probably, yeah. How tall am I? I don't know. I don't really like measure myself. My height. I'm like 5'10 maybe? I don't know. Pretty average, I guess. Means he's short. <laughs> No. I'm not that short. Like 5'10, 5'11. How long am I? <laughs> we need faith lightning weapons? That would be nice. If there's like a lightning art infusion, that'd be kinda cool. But I guess like that would just give too much stuff to lightning. Or too much stuff to faith. I got staggered out of that. That guy's broken. No way. 
We're not dealing with that. The beastman is too broken. What's the fastest way to get this weapon? Um, the way that I did it. With great skill. It's just killing Radon as soon as you can. Like getting yourself like a plus six weapon. Killing Radon with a plus six weapon or even a plus four weapon. Then doing Vari's quest line, go to Mogwin's palace. And you can use a glitch to kill him. And apparently the glitch isn't hard to pull off. I've never done it. I just fought him legit, which I probably don't recommend. <laughs> If you're, like, new to the game. Ending the stream after this run? Probably, yeah. I don't have time to do another run. And I gotta think of what to do tomorrow. And I kind of want to get... Um, gameplay organized for ranking all the magic types. And figure out what I'm trying to say. Try Monster Hunter World, it's like Dark Souls for real. I've played the beta of Monster Hunter World when it came out like a long time ago. And it was cool, but it's just not for me, honestly. It seems like it's more grindy, and I'm not really into playing like grinding games casually. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice shortcut, yeah, it skips all those stupid fucking birds. Is there a Radon skip? Yes, there is a Radon skip. You can go check it out. Go like, you can scroll back in my YouTube live and you can go figure out how i did the radon skip but like all you gotta do is go to the altus plateau anyway and just activate the festival but there is a skip to radon not into grinding but into destiny first of all you can only play one the reason why i said that is because you can only play one grinding game at a time okay you can't have like two grinding games and Destiny is my one grinding game. Redivia or Bloody Hellas? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I probably should have. If I said a full health, win, fine. That's fine. I could use it once here, and then just run away. I could use it a second time, and that's fine. Let me just heal up, buddy. Stay at full health. Okay, let me just use this as well. Okay, now we can fight again. He's gonna do the fall, isn't he? Oh, block it. I got caught up in it. Please don't hit me. Thank you. Now walk into this. Damn, that actually hit him from that distance? What a broken ass weapon. I can go behind the pillars. Well, I, I completely forgot about trying to attack him behind the pillars. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I completely forgot. He like died straight away. I forgot to do that. But yes, you can. It does go far, so I'm guessing you can. You just tank the whole combo? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird, like, Beast Clergyman doesn't do as much poise damage, clearly. But, like, the Beastman, the regular Beastman that I tried to fight staggered me out of it, which is weird. Regular Beastman stronger than Beast Clergyman confirmed? Okay, 40 Vigor is enough for the rest of the playthrough. I have... how many Pickled Foul Fleet? I have two. I'll probably use one for... Godfrey and... Actually, no. I use one for Rider Beast and Millennia. That'll give me like... Two million souls. <laughs> beast spells good. The Beastial Incantations are kind of mid, I'm not gonna lie. Like, Stone of Garank is okay. I, it, I wouldn't really use it as a projectile option over like Lightning Spear or Flameful upon them. Or even Frenzied Burst. Even Black Flame, honestly. <laughs> like, Sunder Greg is nice poise damage, but like, the travel speed is pretty slow. And the stamina cost is like, way too high. And it doesn't go as far as those other spells. Um, Beast Claw is actually pretty good. Because it's like, very FP efficient. It's like, 12 FP and you can do some nice damage. It goes pretty far. It does slashing damage. You could even use it on horseback, too. Um, 
And Peridolos are the God Freeze icon. It can be nice. Yeah, Giant's Flame take D as well, yeah. Um, I don't need to use all these buffs, but we're going to do it anyway. Beastial Sling got nerfed way too hard. It's like only good at point blank range, so he's like better off just like not using it over Catch Flame. They shouldn't have nerfed the poise damage, honestly. Um, and then... What's the other spell? Garang's Beast Claw is like basically like regular Beast Claw, but just worse because it consumes like so much stamina. A lot of the spells just consume a lot of stamina for the Beastial Incantations. But like, they can be viable, but... Anyway, um, he died. Gideon is dead. Poor guy. Beastial Vitality? It's a good health regen spell to have like at lower levels. It gives you like, what, like 800 or 1000 HP over like a minute and a half, which is like barely anything. But it is still healthy, John. It might survive. You might survive. It might help you. Clergyman. Okay. Clergyman. Still gonna say clergyman. <laughs> um, Jangashi. Thank you for the follow, man. Um, let's go pop this bad boy. Go level up again. What's the best health regen spell? Um... Blessing of the Earth Tree, the one I just picked up. It is gonna be the best one. It does consume the most amount of FP. But like, it just gives you like 12 HP per second. Um, Blessing's Boon is nice because it's cheaper. And there's much less requirements. So that's probably gonna be used more. Whereas, like, Blessing of the Earth Tree is like 40 faith or some shit. Now, this actually might be the biggest challenge in the entire run, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I think Moog will be, but... <laughs> we'll go fight Moog again. We'll go revive him. Fight him again, because why not? Exploration Blessing's Boon is best, yeah. What do you mean, revive him? Yeah, Cheat Engine, yeah. Cheat engine. Black Blade Incantation Only Run. I've already done that, and you can see it on my VOD channel. Like, I've literally done that. Because I was actually, like, talking about it, and I was talking about how, like, it's kind of mid. I wouldn't really, don't really like it that much. And then people telling me that I was wrong, and then I did a whole playthrough with it, and it's still okay. <laughs> I'm not too big on the Black Blade Incantation. It is still pretty expensive in, like, a longer animation. But one thing that I did learn is actually does get some nice hype armor, though. Gideon didn't even finish his speech. Am I gonna do Sewer Moog? No. Imagine getting revived by Cheat Engine just to get shit on again. <laughs> Not even going to New Game Plus where you can actually get more overpowered. Just Cheat Engine. Oh, he's staying still! Tank that attack. That, that was never gonna happen. <laughs> that was never gonna get tanked. Oh, I should've waited. I should have waited. Demon Souls is awful to replay. I hate replaying it so much. That's honestly valid. Because the thing is, when you're replaying a game, you kind of just like want to like run through the area and go from boss to boss. And then when dying, you have to like do so much of a run back. It's like kind of cringe. The best part of Demon Souls is like its atmosphere and like appreciating all like the cool enemy designs and stuff. But like the lack of shortcuts and it can be like a bunch of ganks as well. Why does Godfrey spam the hell out of the stomp? I mean, to be fair, if you could like stomp and like break the entire fucking ground, I'm pretty sure you would spam it too. Like imagine if we had the God Godfrey stomp as like a weapon skill or some shit. Like if we could do that, I would spam it too. <laughs> that shit goes like hella far. I only go to my first playthrough. Yeah, Demon Souls is like one of my most enjoyable first playthroughs. The Demon Souls bosses are awful too. Why did he kill his wolf? I think that was a lion, right? I don't think it was a wolf. 
Now my fight is Horolu! Warrior! <laughs> Stupid now ass fucking line. <laughs> like, why did he say that? <laughs> why? It's like, like an anime villain, like, announcing his, like, attacks before he gets to, like, you know, actually do it. Okay, just don't... Oh my god. GG. <laughs> GG. Well played. Well, that wasn't that challenging, was it? To be fair, this is some anime shit. That is true. More damage. How many fasts do I have? Six. <laughs> Bro, Radagon's gonna get fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. This guy in New Game Plus 7 is so unbearable. I believe it. Let's know how to dodge then. Should be okay. Should I drink my juice? I'll save it. Did I pick up a... I did pick up a Starlight Shard. Pretty sure to drink my juice. The dogs are in the Summon Water Village. What's this? This speed makes this game a breeze? Yeah. And the funniest thing yet is that the boss that's gonna be like, get collapsed the easiest will most likely be Millennia. It's just funny how like, Millennia is like just the hardest boss, but like certain weapons just make her so fucking easy. He just actually plays very differently. His voice acting gets cringe when he says warrior. I kind of agree, yeah. It was such like a weird line. I was like, why would you? <laughs> Rivers of Blood sheds millennia as well. Yeah, it does. It does perform nicely. Does the weapon swap glitch still work? I don't know about the weapon swap glitch. Um, probably it does because From Software doesn't really patch anything. So <laughs> maybe it does work. Are you changing your mind on the ranking? No, I still think Mog wins is number three. I think Darkmoon, like if we did a Darkmoon playthrough, this would, it would honestly be easy. I'm not going to lie. Like some bosses might be a lot better with the Mogwin Sacred Spear, but I think on average, Darkmoon is just better to have. Easier to use. And like doesn't consume like FP. Like I don't think, I mean, it's still like the definitive top three. Oh shit. Actually, I don't think this guy parries this shit, does he? It's like the only projectile he doesn't parry. I shouldn't have done that. Should have waited. Clearly, that didn't matter. Sacred Spear is the third best weapon. Is that gonna hit him? Get him! Oh. Oh. How would he parry the air? He parries wild shit, okay? He parries Hall Frost Dump. If this guy can parry Hall Frost Dump and parry like bow and arrows and stuff like that, I wasn't I would wouldn't be surprised if he could parry that shit. And he could parry Common Azure, yeah. Um Ark, thank you for the follow, man. Appreciate it, my dude. Did I just join at the end of the run? We still got to fight like Millennia. We can fight Moog again. And I still got to fight Placid Dusax. And I got to get to Millennia. So I'll have to go fight Nial and Loretta. Stuff like that. This thing also doesn't consume much stamina as well. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. This is the worst final boss of all the Souls games. I 100% disagree. There is no way this boss is any worse than Nishandra, Aldia, or Gwyn. No way. No way. And if you're including Radagon, then definitely not. Radagon's an amazing boss fight. 
I don't think an Elden Beast is that bad. Like, if the Elden Beast wasn't a final boss, he wouldn't be hated that much, honestly. He just gets, like, it just depends on your RNG. Like, the RNG can, can be kind of shit when he does a bunch of that swimming bullshit. Like, sometimes the RNG is fine. I'm committing, I don't care. We're gonna take some damage here, but that's fine. By some damage, I mean a lot of damage. Oh, I have no more flasks left. Why isn't he doing the onion ring attack? I haven't taken too much damage. So, like, this RNG is pretty good. He hasn't been swimming around much. In this instance, the fight's pretty good. Until he use Elden Stars and I have no healing flasks left. That's fine. We're gonna die. <laughs> That's fine. So look, this is actually some very solid RNG. He's gonna- surely he swims this time, right? Yeah. Oh, I had no FP. He's gonna do the onion ring attack. He hasn't done it yet. Um, well, this is, like, not good. We're, like, one shot. Is this going to be the first death of the run? Since acquiring the weapon. Actually, no, we died to the gods can do her. Never mind. I rolled way too early. Oh, my God. What a silly mistake that was. And that was, like, good RNG as well. <laughs> I had perfect... What's the next fight be dog shit RNG? I had such fantastic RNG. I didn't need that many FP flasks. <sighs> That's very sad. Elden Beast does not play now. Elden Beast is immune to all status effects. That was sad. The Ash still- yeah, the Ash still does some nice damage. He would have been an optional final boss. If he was like the Moon Presence, I think everybody would like him so much more. Like if Radagon had an actual second phase, and it kind of worked like with Bloodborne and the Moon Presence, to fight the Elden Beast, it would have been so much cooler, I'm not gonna lie. I did die to the God's Knebel as well, that is true. We'll go play this fight a bit more carefully. Because <laughs> last time I just spammed and I ended up using all my flasks. We're gonna be a bit more intelligent. I think I can get this one attack off. Is it gonna kill him? It does go. I don't know why I used that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's like I wanted to buff with something. Come here, Fishy. Come back this way. That's not bad. Yeah, the recovery frames are actually good as well, yeah. His moveset is not abysmal. He actually gets a bunch- he actually gets some nuance. He gets more nuance than- oh, I just used a healing flask. I'm so stupid. He gets more nuance than Placid Dusax. He gets, like, more attacks. See, I can actually dodge that attack, that's insane. He's not that bad of a boss fight, I'm not gonna lie. 
Oh, I could actually delay the follow-up attack and actually get my stamina back. I just realized that. That's actually huge. He's actually giving me good RNG again. What a nice guy. Anyway, now he's gonna do the teleporting thing or the onion ring attack. Plus, it just like sucks. He has like seven attacks and only uses three. <laughs> Basically. Plus, it just like is like an AoE spam and you can like teleport like up to four times in a fight. And arguably, Placid Dusak's teleport is like worse than the Elden Beast swimming away. Because you can't like do anything. With the Elden Beast, at least you can like chase him. Um, but with the Placid Dusak's, it looks cool. So I, he gets forgiven. <laughs> Placid Dusak's just looks cooler. So the animations are a lot cleaner. I'm gonna get fucked up here. Like even that attack that he was about to do. It's a pretty cool attack to try and learn to dodge. It's nice. Anyway, that's how you beat the entire game, only using the Blood Spoon Ritual Weapon skill. Um, now let's go kill some other bosses. My souls! Let's go kill Commander Neil. 880,000 souls. How long has it been? It's been three hours. <laughs> a three hour playthrough. And we're at level 120. 69 arcane. Pretty good stuff. And not a single map has been acquired. Best spectacle boss ever made, the Placid, yeah, Placid is, he looks really cool. Basically your first playthrough with Placid is basically all that you need to do. Trying to fight him multiple times, it's like, ugh. But he's very cool the first time. Amazing experience. Time for the big dragon boss, now we're gonna kill Commander Nial first. Which should not be too hard at all. Um... My opinion, Darkwing Greatsword number one, Mogwin's number two, then Bl Blastman's Blade number three. If that's your order, that's perfectly fine. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Like, the good thing that Mogwin's Sacred Speed does better, or and Blastman's Blade that does better than the Darkwing Greatsword is its crowd control potential. Like, if you're in a dungeon and you're surrounded by a bunch of enemies, using Blastman's Blade or Mogwin's Sacred Speed can just fuck them all up. Darkwing Greatsword, you can't really fuck them up with the weapon skill. Like, if the projectile actually went through enemies, it might be better. I'm um, for that particular thing, but... But in terms of when it comes to, like, bosses and 1v1 fights, then yeah, I don't think anything is better than the Darkman Greatsword. But then again, the, um, Mogwin Sacred Spear has... shown its potential, but, like, the Darkman Greatsword gets everything. It gets amazing damage, it does it as a projectile, it's a quick attack, it does a consume FP, and it does a lot of stance damage. Mogwin Sacred Spear and Blasphemous Blade doesn't get that stance damage. You're hardly- you're rarely gonna stance break with those weapon skills. Whereas a Darkman Greatsword, you're gonna do it a whole bunch. Darkman Projectile stops after one hit? Yes, it doesn't go through enemies, it just stops you. Yeah. <laughs> Either way... If you rearrange that top three... It doesn't matter. I think that's just the definitive top three. I don't think there's like any arguing that. In terms of like number four, five, and six, you can go anyway, but... What did I put at number four again? Was it a Sword of Night and Flame? I think so. That one's also really good. Would you say Night Comet build is better than Darkman Greatsword because the projectile is longer and does more damage? Um, I think the Darkman Greatsword can get more damage unless you get a power stance the Staff of the Loss. Then maybe it doesn't. And maybe at like higher int levels, I guess. 
Actually, no, even then, I think Darkwing Greatsword gets more damage because it can work with a Spellblade set. And it can also work with the um, Jellyfish Shield. So I think it can literally get more damage with a Darkwing Greatsword. The thing that the Knight's Comet has is that obviously it does go further, um, but it it's invisible. So like enemies that just can't dodge it, they're just going to get hit by it. Oh, not that one. Mm-mm, mm-mm. But like Darkwing Greatsword is going to get more damage and it's going to get Frost and it's going to get more stance damage. For not consuming any FP, like... <laughs> pretty silly stuff. Pretty silly. I should have drank my juicy juice. That was a mistake. Okay, watch this. And GG. I was struggling with this boss on my first playthrough. Imagine struggling on this boss. <laughs> Very balanced weapon. Very balanced weapon. Now let's go grab the other medallion, then go head to the other place. The best area in the game. That's something the Darkwing Greatsword can't do. That is true. That is true. I mean, not that the Darkwing Greatsword would have had much troubles to begin with, but yeah, it can't do that. Definitely cannot do that. I'm glad that we did this run. I've been putting it off because, you know, it's going to be too easy, but this is... <laughs> this is pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Um, how do you say the Power Sensing Night Comet is better than the Bolter Grand Sax? I mean, like, it's a different build. Like, if you have an Intelligence build, you're going to use that. But, like, the Bolter Grand Sax is an insane projectile because it just goes further than, like, anything else in the entire game. Maybe outside of, like, Frenzied Burst. They might, might go just as far as one another. And, like, Bolter Grand Sacks, like, sends enemies flying, too. But, like, I think you can get more damage with Knight's Comet. Either way, all of them are OP. Corpse Pilot run when? I've already done that. I've done the Rivers of Blood run. Um, do you not think the constant proccing of Dark Moon Greatsword and the Jellyfish Shield is a detriment to use ability dr um, during the late game boss fights? The thing is, you don't even need to use a Jellyfish Shield. You just can. <laughs> but, like, the Jellyfish Shield is, like... It takes, like, zero effort. You just click the button, and it's, like, this, the quickest buff animation of all time. And it consumes, like, 10 FP. Um, it obviously is a downside, especially when you have to buff the Dark Moon Greatsword just to, like, use the skill. But, like, the buff lasts, like, was it 80 seconds or some shit? That's more than enough time to, like, kill a boss, honestly. Especially how much damage it does do. But obviously the fact that you need to buff it is going to be a downside, so... Have you done the Crucible Knight build? A Crucible Knight build? Imagine if you could use this shit on horseback. Oh my god. Let's just kill him with this. Let's just go kill another boss, because why not? Go kill the Ermine Killer. Be pretty funny. How Morgoth survived a couple while Nial gets one shot? I mean, it's because that Morgoth... I think honestly has like just as much health. And one, I had a lot less Arcane. I have way more Arcane now. Um... Okay, stop that. I'm clicking the button. Why isn't it letting me do the thing? Okay, both of you stay still. There we go.
Ah, uh, what did I say? What was I saying? I forget. Oh yeah, Morgoth, when he actually goes to the second phase, he gets hyper armor. So he like tanks a whole bunch of like damage. Very challenging run, yes. Very big challenging. I'm um, Solera or Sigurd? I'm um, Sigurd. And Siegmeier. Both of them are chads. Is it worth power sent to Naga Kibo or just better two-handed? I just like two-handing the katanas because I'm not too big of a fan of like the power sense combos except for like the crouching and the jumping attacks. So I just two-handed honestly. But power sensing is still perfectly fine. Honestly, it's just whatever one looks coolest to you. You just do that. Whatever one feels more fun. Strength or dexterity? I... I don't know. I prefer dexterity. I actually know. Prefer strength. Can you bleed an octopus? I'm pretty sure you can. And the octopus got healed. That thing must be very resistant to fire damage. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's not gonna kill me, right? Now we go. Oh! These things are broken. Someone nerfed the Vulgar Militiamen. Someone nerfed them. This weapon sucks. The Vulgar Militiamen are a direct counter. They get a grab attack. <laughs> Wing of Astel versus the Darkwing Greatsword. I go with the Darkwing Greatsword. It gets more damage. And it still gets, like, good stance damage. Which is, like, the one thing that Wing of Astel, like, just does the best. Is the stance damage. But, like, being that the Darkwing Greatsword kind of just also does re really well. At, like, a longer distance. And Prox Frost. Is nice. They do bleed the other day. We now know. Do you think Black Myth Wukong will be as hard as any FromSoft game? Um, yeah. I mean, being that like Demon Souls is not that challenging, except for like this between bonfires because it takes forever to get to one. And there's no checkpoints. Well, not many checkpoints. Um, yeah. Not gonna be that bad. Can I not get clapped by that? Holy shit. Those arrows did a lot of damage. Um, speaking of Black Myth Wukong though, we actually might play it soon. We might play a demo soon. Do I enjoy playing Demon Souls? Um, I do. I do. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. I can't see shit. <laughs> Just head north. Replaying it? I still do, yeah. I mean, it's a lot better when you end up, like, just, like, force quitting and doing that stupid glitch. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. How soon? Probably, like, within a month, I wanna say. I'm not sure the exact date, but the team at Wukong, they reached out to me and they want me to play their game and make a video about it. I'm like, sure. I'd love to play a demo of your game and make a video about it. So that's gonna happen sometime. Maybe in like within a month, I want to say. A month or two. When is that release again? Is that August? Or is it October? Honestly, I'm kind of hoping it's... I think it is August. Honestly, the later the better because we're gonna have the Elden Ring DLC. Um, if you power sense a Darkwing Greatsword, do you have... What do you do? Two Ashes of War? Um... No, what do you mean? <laughs> like, if you power sense the Darkwing Greatsword, if you want to, like, have them both buffed, you're gonna have to, like, two hands one, use it, then switch to the other one to use it. Why am I going here? Um, do you have to button, buff the one in your off hands first, and then buff the one in your main hand? Um, if you want a power stance, honestly, I'll just use the health and steeple. Because the health and steeple has, like, very similar requirements, and it kind of does the exact same thing. 
And you can do that in regular new game, because you only get one Dark Moon Greatsword per playthrough. So the Hellfront Steeple is a good power sensing option. Hold on a second. Fucking grab attacks. You couldn't have done anything else. I had a feeling it was gonna happen, but is it a play? It's just for the streamers. They're gonna give me like early access to like a demo. It's not an open demo. They gave me like a, a Steam key or some shit to play. It's only gonna be open for like a few hours as well. I'll play it, then I gotta make like a 15 to 20 minute video. That's so what they're saying. I'll probably end up making it be like 20 something minutes. I'm pretty opinionated. So that's really cool. I think they start with the grab anyways, do they? Wait, I already lit that up. True. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, now where is it? There it is. Yeah, where are you going? Fuck. You can't bleed it out. It doesn't get staggered. Oh my god. <laughs> You can't bleed out the... That thing does so much damage. Can you live stream it? I'm not sure. I gotta go ask if I can live stream the demo. Assassins don't bleed? No. Um, Hell7, thank you for the follow, man. We're just gonna go run through this area. I wanted to go kill it, but I guess we're not good enough. I use Glint Blade Phalanx, it wrecked these motherfuckers. Glint Blade Phalanx would be pretty good. That is true. Bro's <laughs> becoming Godwin. Oh, I, I lost my 100,000 runes. Oh no, how am I ever going to win? It's like enough for like one level. Wait, how far does it go down? Oh, it's not gonna go that far down. If I stood on that little platform, I could probably kill it. Where is it? I see it's footsteps. Let's go on this platform, see if I can hit it from like up top. Did it come this way? Where is it? I can't see. Oh, I ran into it. Come on, kill it! Die! Nice. The skill can hit below you? Clearly not. <laughs> Clearly not. The law reason for that? Um, I don't know. What's the law reason why assassins can't bleed? That is built different, I guess. You click triangle, not X. As if you can't fit through this hole. You can, cool. <laughs> Go away. Ow, that hurts. This thing's drop a golden rune, or was that always there? Actually, I'm gonna go this way. That shouldn't hit me from there, right? No. Oh, it does. Good thing it de-aggroed. Do a flip? No. Might be the most annoying mobs in the entire series. The archers? They're annoying. I'm not sure about the most annoying in the entire series. I don't, I don't think anything could be as bad as a dog. Any places where rune consumables can be farmed? I don't think so. Get him out of here. Wait, does that thing actually drop it? Let's see. No. Albaneric blood clot. 
What talismans are we running? Um, the Warriors, Jar Shard, Ritual, Sword Talisman, Fire Scorpion Charm, and the Lord of Blood Exaltation. Those are the ones. And I have the Fire tier and the Faith tier, so I can actually go meet the requirements for Golden Vow and stuff. If there was an Arcane tier, that would be really nice. Maybe in the DLC we get an Arcane tier. The rats, yeah, rats are pretty bad too. Bonewall skeletons kind of suck, that's true. But I think dogs is pretty consistent. They like pretty bad. DS3 dogs are the worst, yeah. I mean, dogs in every game are terrible, but yeah. How smooth did the fight with Moog go? It was pretty smooth. I got a second try. I actually did a no hit as well. It was a no hit run. Obviously I got hit by knee heal. That did damage to me. Do these things bleed up? Yeah, they do too. Get him out of here. I can't even walk in a straight line, apparently. Dogs and Sekiro are chill. I mean, dogs, I don't, I don't think they're chill. But the good thing about the dogs and Sekiro is that you can use um the Shuriken, and the Shuriken can fuck off pretty nicely. Shuriken puts in some nice work. And you get like a 100% like block weapon. And like no stamina bar, so... It's not that bad. And obviously, yeah, you can deflect them too. Like, why is it when we get this weapon it doesn't work like that? It's just like one big one. There's like no reason to use the Envoy's Great Horn over the Envoy's Long Horn. Like, it does get like... It does go further and actually has tracking where the Envoy's Long Horn doesn't. But like the Envoy's Long Con just does way more damage, and it actually does more stance damage too. And it's a great hammer, which is like a better weapon class than the Colossal Weapon. If it shot out like three projectiles, it'd be nice. Actually, see if I can try and do the skip. Come this way. Do I have a shield? I have a buckler. Nice. Come here. Where did you go? Come this way. No, that's not the- Oh, you're such an idiot. Why would you do a jumping attack? You're such a buffoon. Um, you only upgrade FP and Arcane? No, I upgraded my health too. <laughs> I have 40 Vigor. 20 Mind and Endurance, and then the rest of the points into Arcane. I haven't needed more mind, honestly. Let's see how it fucks this thing up. It just does. See, like, you can't do that with, like, <laughs> the Darkwing Greatsword. Maybe the Mogwin Sacred Spirit is number two. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm gonna stand by my rankings. I'll probably stand by them. If somebody else would like to rearrange that order, I wouldn't be mad. As long as your number one weapon is either one of those three, then... You have a good list. I've never soloed her. Never soloed her. Has there ever been a time where like you've gotten like that mad at a boss fight that you actually went to go summon? Actually, no, better question. Do you guys play without spirit summons? Mm-hmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. No? I do now? Why do you now compared to not doing it before? Darkman greater for the bosses and the spear for the mobs? I mean, but then again, it's even good against the bosses, you know? <laughs> Let's see how it performs against Loretta. I summon if it's a gank. That's honestly pretty fair. Oh, I'm gonna die. As if she didn't bleed out a second time. And she got hyper armor there, and she like does- No, the bleed should still stagger though. She probably just didn't get blood out. Did I hit up the shortcut? I think I did. I got better at the game. That's fair. Only summoning in gank fights, I guess, is valid. Did my first play without summons, had to summon for Godfrey, was harder than Millennia for me, for some stupid reason? <laughs> it might have just been like how you were playing it on the day, I guess. I mean, horror loot can be a problem, because like... Those grab attacks all have like very similar animations, but like just very slightly different timings. Is he gonna hit me? Oh, he's going for it. Too late, buddy. Okay, let's do that again. This time, without the dying. How did Mikula plant the Halic tree in the ocean? With great skill. That wasn't that much damage. She's probably like very resistant bleed, honestly. We're going for the third one. Proc bleed, please. There we go. There we go. Will you ever do a no roll run? You can crouch, jump, and run. No rolling. I'm guessing that's including like quick step and stuff. <laughs> What's better, rally standard or golden vow? I mean like, rally standard is going to give you more damage. But the thing is with golden vow... Um, it doesn't have any requirements, the Ash of War at least. It lasts longer and it gives you more defenses. And you have to worry about like, you know, specking into strength and dexterity, getting the weapon, equipping it, then taking it off again. So... I think in almost every single instance, unless you're trying to like one-shot bosses and like really want to maximize damage, I'd just use Golden Bell. Golden Bell is plenty fine. The extra boosted defenses and the fact that it lasts longer. And you have to worry about specking into strength and dexterity. Just to use it. Pretty good stuff. I don't know if I'll do like a um... A no roll run. I think I'll just like instinctively just end up just rolling. Oh shit. Oh thank god for the stagger. <laughs> the clean rot knight sword first try? First try clean rot night sword. Wow. Did I... Ah, I took off a quick step. Put on at the next grace. Unbind it? Yeah, I guess. Change up the button. Does it got the best PvP weapon? Yeah, the clean rot sword is really good. And poking attacks are always gonna just rain supremacy in PvP, but yeah. It just be that way. And that one just gets the most damage. I'm not sure if I'd rather have it for like PvE though. I think I'd rather have the S stock and the Noble's S stock still. I think the S stock is just better though than the Noble's S stock. Because like the heavy attacks are just nicer to have. Because the horizontal swipes. I'm pretty sure the clean rod spear is just like the random poke, right? With its heavy. I might be wrong. Yeah. Just as this one poke. Um. 
Yeah, I'd rather have the S-Dock for like the horizontal swipe that it gets. And no rolling run? Go heavy into a great shield. <laughs> I know, like, runs like that doesn't interest me. I'd rather, like, just test out, like, different spells and stuff. Like, those, like, meme runs. Those types of meme runs, at least. Then it get me excited. Looks like you're having fun with this weapon. I mean, I like doing broken damage. It's funny to me. I would want to do it all the time, but... Definitely is funny. Is the Naga Keeper any good? Yes, it's amazing. Go check out my top 10 infeasible weapons list. On my ranking the bleed weapons video. You'd know I'd value it a lot. It's pretty good stuff. I love the Regier weapon. Yeah, Regier's Rapier is good. I think that's the one that gets like the double poke with its heavy attack, right? I probably prefer that one for PvE too. Cause I, so I can proc status effects faster. Have you done a Meteoric or Blade R2 run? I have not done a Meteoric or Blade R2 run. Hopping into a Wing of Astel run right now? Nice. Hope you have a fun time. Yeah, Claymont does get the highest, um, most amount of range too, yeah. Thrusting Swords are good. I don't know if I prefer Thrusting Swords over like, you know, Katanas or Straight Swords for PvE. Even Spears, honestly. Because they can just get better Ash of War options. And just get better variety in moveset. But they're still good. It's just like hard to like... put them over those things. Serpent Bone Blade R2. Maybe I could do something like that. Anyway, time for the easiest part of the run. I'm King, what's going on, man? How are things? A carrying Regal Scepter spinning weapon Ash run. Has anyone done it before? I'm pretty sure it's been done before, yeah. Pretty sure it's been done before. Armor for the big fat ogre in the ring city is a rare drop. Oh, like the Herald set? I think it's a rare drop, yeah. Do sewer moog? No, we're not gonna do sewer moog. We'll do a regular moog. We'll go revive him and do regular moog. That wanna be like somewhat possible because it can get blood out. Sewer moog. No, we're not doing sewer moog. A barbaric roll? I haven't done like a, a run with those raw types, Asher Wars. I've done trolls roll, but I haven't done a run with, um, I only using the heavy attack of Barbaric, Warcry, or Braggots. It's because like every single weapon is like kind of different with those things. So I wouldn't even know what to do. Can we do Fortisax? No. Because Fortisax is like a mid-game boss. He would just die in like two hits anyway. Not that like it's been different, you know. But like trying to get to Fortisax is like a pain in the ass. And you can't even use Cheat Engine to like teleport there as well. Because you have to do the quest lines. You have to go grab the whatever the items that you need and go talk to Fear a thousand times. It's like, ugh. And you gotta go kill the Fear Simps. Which killing Fear Simps would not be bad, but... It is what it is. Why would you run away for? Why would you do this? Bleed. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Easy game. Mo cosplay into the DLC. Chasing down a Mikola. <laughs> the funny thing is I was actually standing in the water as well. If I wasn't standing in the water, I would have done more damage. Because it's doing pure fire damage, and it's doing bleed, of which she is weak to both. I should have buffed with flame gummy strength. Now my damage is gonna be bad. It's not gonna be bad, that was a lie. 
Anyway, that's a GG. That's how you beat Millennia. Tough battle. On to the next. Maybe it is number two. <laughs> Maybe it is. That wasn't even at 80 arcane as well. That was only like 70. Only 70. We can go even higher. We're at level 130. Nice. How, how long have we been playing for? Three hours and 30 minutes and we're at level 130. That's pretty good stuff. Let's go kill Moog. Actually, we've got to kill Flaccid Sex. True. Where did Millennia go? I don't know. Sewer Moog is the real challenge? Yeah, I guess. I should have just died. I would have been faster. <laughs> I forgot because I actually didn't run up that platform. Where is the level? There it is. Can't see shit. I need 13,000 souls to level up. We could do this. Nice. We can get another level. Huge. 80 arcane. We're popping off now, boys. We are popping off now. Ultra trees are ultra hard, no in between. Yeah. Do a new game plus seven fiery giant level one bare fist only. Your build is a difficulty slider. There you go. That's a good way to say it. That's a good way to, good way to phrase it. Very good way to phrase it. Imagine we get to fight Grand Saxon in the DLC. I mean, if we do, it'll probably be like a gimmick boss fight, right? Because it'd be hard to like try and fight a boss fight that big if it's not a gimmick. It'd be the same as like the Dragon God type of thing from Demon Souls. Because imagine the camera. <laughs> imagine fighting Grand Sex with that camera. It's like the first time actually going down to Fort I'm Placid Sex. Placid Do Sex. Legit in a while. Normally I just use like Cheat Engine Teleport there. This might be the best boss arena, I'm not gonna lie. This shit's kinda clean. Did you guys know that when he does like the lightning attack, he actually consumes all those like lightning? Or like the slam attack? All the lightning gets like sucked up into the cloud, and it goes away. If you guys didn't know, now you do. You grinded levels off stream? <laughs> I did not grind levels off stream. Uh, Baron, thank you for the follow, man. Oh, god damn it. I missed. I missed. No, 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 Wait a second. Let me stay at full health. I would want to fight Prime Flaccid Sex. Oh, come on. Come back. Come this way, please. Why are you doing it again? I just got here. I wish a lightning would be there after beating him. But he's like the Dragon Lord. He summons a lightning. He is the lightning. That does a lot of damage. No, don't do that. Wait, can I hit him from here? Oh, I can. Oh, it still goes up. Look at that range. So look at that. The lightning is gone now. He sucked it all up. He's the throat goat. Oh, uh, see, this is why I don't like this one. <laughs> this teleport one time. Why do you have to teleport another time? Wait, let me use this. Nice dodge, idiot. 
Top 10 bosses by what that would smell like. If I could tank that lightning attack, that'd be nice, but I couldn't. Oh, there's no way. I can't see. I should've locked on. That would've helped. No, don't hit me. Is this good RNG for the first time in the entire fight? Oh, he's gonna teleport again. No, get him, get him, get him! Oh... God damn it, where is he? I hate when you be doing this shit, man. And now you can die. That was literally, literally the hardest boss thus far. Because <laughs> he just didn't want to stop, like, attacking. He didn't want to stop. I don't know why. And he is resist to blade. Ends the fact that he's actually, like, a larger boss. You can't actually benefit off, like, the Lord of Blood Exaltation and the White Mask. Because, like, for some reason, it just doesn't work against large bosses. Um, HG. Thank you for the follow, man. What's going on? Wait a minute. Oh no, I was gonna say we could fight Rykard, but that guy's 80% resist to fire damage. So no. <laughs> what do I level up? Everything's like at a nice interval of 5 that I need to level up. It's gonna ruin it. What do I do? Mind, I guess. Um, Squint, thank you for the follow, man. Okay, so how long has it been? It's been 3 hours and 45 minutes and we're at level 134. And we didn't even use Cheat Engine. Oh, we actually used Cheat Engine to revive a boss. And we're gonna use Cheat Engine again. To revive another boss. Now where... Is... The guy... Where is Moog? Um, Siofa River? Yes. Dead? Alive. Alive this man. Cool. Mesma? You always gotta fight Mesma. Now what do I do after this? <laughs> what do I do? Might go check out the comment section, see what the commenters are saying. Let's go beat and uh, let's go beat um Moog with his own weapon. Ancestral spirit? No. He just die on like a hit because he's weak to fire damage and he's like mid game boss. So read TikTok comments? Hell no. <laughs> Moog first try or bust? It'll be tough. It'll be tough. Mm -mm. I'll see you, Falcon. Thank you for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Fire Scorpion Charm is not needed here. We'll see. See how much damage it does first, and then we'll go. The thing is, he's gonna stagger me out of every hit. That blood loss is doing the most amount of work. As soon as I get to the second phase, it's gonna be way worse. Oh, uh, if I had the purifying crystal tier, we could be trading out. <laughs> oh, nice! We could be doing Nihil at the exact same time. That actually could have been a one cycle. Heal! Jeez. What's the technique for no-hitting Moog? I mean, knee heal is, is valid. You, that doesn't count as a hit in the no-hit run. Oh, I have no FP.
Nice. Oh, that was a bad... Bad attempt at a dodge. I gotta heal up here. Nice. Dodge that. That's some quick recovery frames. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good stuff. Okay, that one is not quick enough. Position it that way. I'm standing in the blood flame. I can't attack there. That's okay. That hit me! Oh, I'm choking. I'm actually choking. It's fine. We heal up again. Everything's good. Don't attack me. That's fine. That works. That works. That works. When did Cheat Engine come out? Um, like, kind of at the beginning of the game. <laughs> the Cheat Engine scene is like, big it since all the games, so... It's basically like, first one to make it kind of thing. That actually wasn't even that bad of a run. That wasn't even that bad. I thought it was gonna be doing way worse, like, worse damage, but I guess the bleed does that much, even against like 700 bleed resist after the fourth proc. It's not even that big of a deal. Um, isn't there a tear that can heal you off a of blood flame? No. There is not a tear that can do that. Like, I think you can get to level 150 in this game if you just kill, like, most of the bosses. I've only killed just a bunch of Great Rune bosses. I haven't even killed all the Great Rune bosses, and I'm level 138. After 3 hours and 50 minutes. If you can get to level 138 in less than 4 hours... I mean, to be fair, I did use... Cheat Engine to revive a boss. I would have been 135. Um, the Arc Thrones demo came out with the release date. Yeah, I saw it's gonna release in like a 4 or 5 days or some shit. Um, I'm late. Is it run as easy as it seems? Yeah. Honestly, even easier. My camera! Allowed a cool down! Why does this always happen? My camera sucks. That's fine. We basically beat the game. It's okay. Everything is done now. Um... It's too hot in this country, clearly. Let's go react to some comments to see what the commenters are saying about the video. 9,000 views in 4 hours. Interesting. Comments. 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 Dex absolutely does not need its own seal or catalyst for that matter. It already has enough going for it. But like, if the claw mark seal gets its own seal, why can't... Like, if strength gets its own seal, why can't dexterity? Like, strength has honestly just as much going for it as dexterity does. There are more strength-based weapons that made it to the list than dexterity weapons. Come on up, buddy. Um, use Death's Poker for my first playthrough and absolutely carried me for the hard bosses. Um, okay. What's all in the DLCs for this game? Are they even worth buying? What? Got to my first playthrough of the base game, I'm thinking starting a new character. Is the DLC is just a few weapons and maybe a boss fight? Is he talking about this game? The DLC hasn't come out yet, is he? <laughs> is he okay? Yui gone? Someone just respond to this man and tell him that strength is actually perfectly fine. Just, like, arguably strength is better than dexterity. But there's like weapon options. So I don't know where this is coming from. That dexterity gets its, like, has its own amount of stuff going for it. I don't think the Claw Mark Seal makes strength builds overpowered, you know? <laughs> the Claw Mark Seal is not that crazy. It's not that good. He's living in June. Yeah. The Staff Seal or Fist of Magic was going to be the best weapon. Arguably, weapon skills are just better to have than, than spells. I'm not gonna lie. They're easier to set up and you can just do more damage. Like, staffs, like, spells can only do, like, more damage than weapon skills until, like, later on in the playthrough when you get, like, all the buffs for them. They're, like, harder to, like, level up to. Death's Poker looks like shit. I think it's a cool-looking stick. I literally cannot wait for the DLC. Anyone know if you have to wear the entire Spellblade set to get the buffed? I should have specified. Every piece is 
2% damage. Or 2% more damage, as it was specified, but I think you would get the idea. The Ivory Sickle is the best weapon. True! DLC gives Holy Damage a place to shine. Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> Maybe it does, who knows. Blastoise Blade is great, but it's a little boring. I prefer to use the Marais Executioner Sword. That's perfectly valid. Axe Talisman boosts the melee damage for the Dark Moon Greatsword R2. Um, that is true, but you're still better off going with the Godfrey's Icon because that the projectile is going to be doing the most of the damage. Um, super pain in the ass to get because you have to do Rani's questline. It's not that big of a deal. I actually thought I did mention it in the video, but I think I cut that part out. I think I cut the part out about acquiring the Dark Moon Greatsword. Um... You would just play through the game with the most boring weapon. Boring is subjective. I actually had a great time playing with the Mogwin Sacred Spear. I probably wouldn't do it again, but it was a nice four hour experience. Alternate, alternative title, top 10 weapons for people sucking at getting good. I'll stick to my giant crusher in the left hand and the golem's halberd in the right hand. Oh my God, I hate this fucking community so much. Oh, I'm um, the only thing of, <laughs> it's so cringe. Am I all done? Yeah, we did the playthrough. It's already finished. Anything about the Sonaf is the insane requirements. Potential extra damage with the stat boosting ones. It's not that high. It's 24 faith and intelligence, which is basically like 40 into one stat, kind of. It's not that high. The the Bolter Grand Sax has just as high as a requirement. Like, just as much stat investment. Um, Do you think there'll be a balance patch? There'll probably be a one... I think there might be one more patch before the DLC comes out, but I don't think any of these weapons are going to get changed, I'm not going to lie. I feel like for the next video, you should do a top 10 ranking, or ranking of the top 10 weapons in general, regardless of infusibility. Honestly, the summer base weapons are just better. <laughs> I think only like two smithing weapons probably make it to a top 10 list. The summer weapons are just way too broken. Bloodborne is still better than anyone's favorite From Software game. Whatever. Whatever you say, buddy. Um... If you take damage, does your controller vibrate? <laughs> I turn off vibrations, but I think it does work that way. I have- I don't have my vibrations on in any game. <sighs> um... You'll never part from me with my trusty broadsword. You're- If you guys like a particular weapon, you're allowed to use that particular weapon. You don't have to use the most broken thing. Health and steeple snubbed? That's not even top 50, I'm not even lying. Not even lying. Not even a top 50. Wait, why is he talking about vibrations? Why does he want to know? <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. This has a like as well? Who liked this? Which one of you guys thought the health and steeple was a good weapon? Like, it's good, but like, it's not anywhere near, like, the... I don't know, it's probably not even top 50. Its only purpose is to be power stance with a Darkman Greatsword. The Darkwing Greatsword literally gets more damage, it gets more frost build up, and it gets a projectile with its weapon skill. Why does anybody even like this thing outside of the way that it looks? Um, in PvE, the meta is not L2 spamming though. It's a large part of the weapons, but depending on the enemies on the other attacks, it's going to be more useful. No. <laughs> I disagree. If you're fighting a boss, L2 spam is just like the way to go like 90% of the time. Obviously, like there are certain circumstances where like it's not. But like weapon skills make the game broken. Great video, proud of me. Oh, thanks. As a pattern lover, I'm furious with how many bosses and enemies that eat holy damage like it's cake. It better shine in the DLC. It probably won't. <laughs> It's good because it looks good. That's valid, but that's not a reason to put it in the top 10. You also get the staple too late in the game. Yeah, you can get it. You can get the Darkwing Greatsword beforehand as well. Um, the Marais Executioner Sword is the best weapon requires some specific setup. That's the reason why I don't like it. It's because the Marais Executioner Sword requires things like the Thorny Cracks tier and like the Millicent Prosthesis. And you get those like later in the game. Not so much Millicent Prosthesis, but definitely the Thorny Cracks tier. And like, it's still going to be like a closer range weapon that has to be fully charged up. And, like, in that time that you do a fully charged attack, you could just use the Mugwin Sacred Spear. Or, you could use the, um, Ordovus' Greatsword, which is, like, very similar. Obviously, like, different scalings and stuff. 
But very similar effect. Like, it's a fully charged weapon skill that actually does a short range attack. Um, but you're just going to get more stance damage than the Marius Executioner Sword. Doesn't require as much investment and much setup. And I think you get more hyper armor too. Now make a top 10 of Sekiro. True. I got the Platinum because I made builds around using the Blasphemous Blade. I just wanted to have a build that will just go against, well, Millennia, which is weak to fire. The Blasphemous Blade can definitely do that, yeah. I learned that meta was an acronym the entire time. Do you guys not know that meta is an acronym? Most efficient technique available? Do you guys not know that? <laughs> the Ruins Greatsword is S. I think the Ruins S. I, I, I don't know, it's probably like an A tier. I gotta do a playthrough with it, but like the Blasphemous Blade just makes it irrelevant, kinda. Um, might be in last place, but I feel how bad it is is somewhat over-exaggerated. Enough runners of the game have proven that you're getting better with fine damage at the right build. <sighs> like, it's still viable. Like, holy damage is still viable. It's not like, people do avoid it a whole bunch. Like, I, the two weapons that do holy damage made it to the top 10. So it can't be that bad, right? Opinions on the Raptor Talons. All the claws are really good. I don't think I like it the best. I think the Venomous Fang, I just like it more because this is more unique. Because it has like a blade-based weapon that can be power sands. I just hard to pick something over like, you know, Scavengers or some shit. Or even like Cross Naginata power stance. But Raptor Talons is like easier to set up. And the jumping attacks, more damage and the heavy attacks are nice too. I don't know, it's a good weapon. I think it's an S tier, but probably not top 10. You hate on the Marais too much? It would, I would literally put it at like number 13. I was actually considering putting it onto the list. The, if you look at the intro clip for this thing, I, I showed gameplay of the Marias. That means it's an honorable mention. I probably would put it around about 12 or 13 on a list, which is not even that bad. <laughs> I just think it has like very, like, it has like a, down, a downside, like a major downside. That's it. Because I did an entire playthrough using the weapon skill, and it wasn't that fun at the beginning. It was kind of shit. It only performed nicely towards the end. Um, secular top 10 weapons. <laughs> Mortal Blade, yeah. Basically Mortal Blade. Um, Bloodhound Fang either deserves to be top 10 or just replaced by a different weapon. I feel like Stormhawk Axe outclasses that? Why do people like the Stormhawk Axe? I think too many, like, challenge runs, like, use it for, like, some things. I don't know. But, like, Stormcaller just is better. <laughs> You put Stormcaller on an actual, like, good weapon, and then it just ends up being better than the Stormhawk Axe. Because Axes are mid. It's good in PvP, but, like, isn't Stormcaller good in PvP? I'm pretty sure, like, it does the same amount of st um, stagger damage and same amount of poise damage. I think Stormcaller literally gets more poise damage as well. And it's like cheaper as well. Okay, let me look at this up. Stormcaller, Elden Ring, and what's the um it's called Thunderstorm, right? Thunderstorm. Elden Ring. <sighs> 36 stance damage. And it costs 12 F or 19 FP and 12. Stormcaller, 48 stance damage. And less FP. Thunderstorm does buff your weapon with lightning damage afterwards, which I guess is kind of cool. But like, you put Stormcaller on like a weapon like the Great Stars, you're doing way more damage, you're doing way more stance damage, and you could buff the Great Stars with Blood Flame Blade, and just do Blood Loss build up while you're doing it, which is just like, better. Right? I don't know. Maybe it works, maybe it works like, differently in PvP. Maybe Poise Damage is different than the Stagger Damage, or I mean the Stance Damage. But I know, I use Stormcaller in PvP and it still works just as well. Um, lightning damage is the best in PvP because lightning defense doesn't scale off stats. I mean, lightning damage is going to be good in general, yeah, but like, I don't know. You can still make a lightning infused Stormcaller on like a, a larger weapon. And it's like the exact same animation too, right? Like the speed is the exact same. So you have like a lightning infused like Great Stars, <laughs> which I don't know why you would do that, but... It'd just be a better version. And you get to use, like, a great hammer, which is just better. 
Anyway, that's just my opinion. Liddy or Ludy? Liddy. Saint Trina's or torches OP in PvP. True. I need more smithing stones to upgrade the Ord Davis' greatsword. Armor just solid star scope redone at level 60 using a stone club. Stone club is actually based. Jumping L1 for the win. Bringing the Ord Davis' to the DLC. Based. Um, the tier list won't have the Lord's one in the SS in the C. What? What does that even mean? I don't know. I need the ranking all weapons tier list. We're not going to rank all the weapons. We're going to go like just do a tier list of them. That's too much effort. No ruins, greatsword. Yeah, blasphemous blade is just better. It just outclasses it. LT button was jealous of the R1 button. True. <laughs> the wing of a still getting some love after Rusty slept on it. It's a good weapon. Stop being lazy. I'm going to continue to be lazy, okay? Because, like, either way, if I, like, rank all the weapons, people are just going to go skip to the top 10 anyway. You know? <laughs> Only, like, five people are going to actually watch the entire thing. So I might as well do it as a tier list. Mariah's Execution Disorder is not on the list. Do you place Mogwin Sacred Spirit third place? Unbelievable. Whatever. Solid 8 out of 10 game. What's this? Oh, Dark Souls 2. What's everyone's thoughts on Dark Souls 2? It just turned 10 years old. Unsub, rank the worst weapons. I already did top 10 worst weapons. I might do it again. Because I kind of disagree with the list that I made. Their C scaling and faith is not the same. Silurius C scaling and faith is actually 20% lower than the B scaling and strength. Um, meanwhile, all Davis's strength scaling is B. Faith scaling 63. Silurius tree um, scales almost equally with strength and faith. That so you would do way more holy damage on his Ash War if you actually spec into faith. And way more physical if you go into strength. And frankly, the AR difference in AD strength versus AD faith is almost non-existent. Oh, really? That's nice to know. That's good information. Thank you for that. That's that's good information. I'd still recommend just going all into strength when using the Silurius tree because physical damage is just better than holy damage, but that's nice to know. Darkman Greatsword is my favorite weapon of all time. Based. Anyway, that's the comments. Nobody said anything too stupid except for that one guy that gate keeps the game. What's the time? Two o'clock. Good enough. Why can't you admit D's 2 is the best? <sighs> because I'm just a hater, clearly. I am just a hater. Anyway, um, what are we going to do tomorrow? What should I do for a run tomorrow? Should I do like the tools run? It's going to be so bad though. Oh, actually, I wanted to fight. That's fine, who cares. Um, Elden Ring... Elden Ring skills. Do I do like another Ash of War run? I think we do something different. Fortnite ruins greatsword. Destiny 2. We're not gonna play Destiny 2 on stream now. Um I could do I haven't done stamp run. The flick run? I've already done the flick run with the weapon skill of the ringed finger. Beats Dark Souls 3 and Elden Ring at the same time. <laughs> Kukri throwing weapons only run. Unless I play Dragon's Dogma. I kind of want to play Dragon's Dogma. Because when, when does it come out? It comes out in like 10 days. Dragon's Dogma 2, right? Hey, hit up your catalog. Yeah, I'm most... I mean, a lot of my web... A lot of my Ash of War runs are on my VOD channel because I made my VOD channel after I did a lot of them. But the VOD channel does have a decent amount of spell runs. I think I did the Ringed Finger run live on YouTube like ages ago. Dragon's Dogma 1's on sale. I have Dragon's Dogma already. I already bought it. 
Goat's run? What, the lightning ram? I've already, I've already done that as well. I've already done, like, most of these things. Like, I haven't done the raw-based ones. Like, some of these will just be too boring. Like, spinning slash impaling thrust. That'll just be, like, boring. Like, I already know they're good. Piercing Fang might be interesting. Done that. Double slash and sword dance might be. That'll just be too boring. Did that one already. Did that. Charge fourth. I actually haven't done spinning strikes. I kind of want to do spinning strikes. I'm not going to lie. A Mariah's Ash only, no Thorny run. I mean, you get the Thorny Cracks here on the Consecrated Snowfield, so like 90% of the gameplay is going to be without the Thorny Cracks too, so. <laughs> um, the Sacred Relic Sword is amazing, yes. Yeah, Sacred Relic Sword is actually really good. Really good. I think that run is on my VOD channel as well. You can go check out the Sacred Relic Sword weapon skill run. It's actually really good. I was about to put it into the top 10, I'm not going to lie. But then I put the Ordovices there instead, because... I think that's better. But yeah, Sacred Relic Sword is an absolute, like, crowd control machine and actually still does really good damage, too. Actually, has more physical damage with this weapon and it gets 110 crit. It's nice. Its scalings can be a bit better, not gonna lie. Um, its stamina cost is pretty high and the FP cost is pretty high. But paired alongside some stamina boosting things and some, like, FP saving stuff, like carrying Regal or carrying Filigrid Crest. I've already done Raptor of the Mist run. I did that like two weeks ago. Um, done that, done that, done that, done that. Not gonna bother doing that. Did I do Flame of the Red Mains? Yeah, I did do that. Um, did that. I'm not gonna do Prelash Charge, that's way too ass. Have I done Thunderbolt? I haven't done Prayerful Strike as well, that could be interesting. I've done most of these other things. I've already done spinning chain as well. Most stuff is done, honestly. I don't know what to do. <laughs> We've always beat the game. We've always done everything. I actually might play Dragon's Dogma, I'm not gonna lie. What's today? I might do like, actually, I don't know. Prayerful Strike would be cool. And we might do two runs tomorrow. I might do a Prayerful Strike run. And then do something else. I already actually done a Fire is Deadly Sin run, but that was like ages ago when like the glitch was active, when you could use it with status effects. That was actually a terrible run. <laughs> that was really bad. You need the DLC to drop yesterday. <laughs> it's fine, because I, I actually want to finish a run with all the Ashes of War and weapon skills and unique skills and actually do a, um, a video ranking every single one. Actually... Actually, we'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to rank all the Ashes of War. We're going to do a couple of playthroughs, and then we'll go rank them tomorrow. Um, we'll do that. So I'll do a Prayful Strike run, and maybe a Spinning Strikes run. So Prayful Strike and Spinning Strikes, I'll do those two. Dress up for the special occasion. What special occasion? What, the DLC? <laughs> a Rogue Legacy 2 run? And then we'll probably go rank all the Ashes of War. Because I have like a list of all the Ashes, but it's not like complete though. Where's my list? Where's my list? There it is. Here's my list. It's like rough. It's like, it's not complete. But this is my list of all the Ashes. Not the unique skills, just the Ashes of War. These are my list of all of them. I still want to go, like, fuck around with this. This is, like, rushed list. This is not complete. So don't take this for what it is. Um, yeah, so we'll do Prayerful Strikes. Where do I have Prayerful Strikes? I think I have it in the S tier. I'm not going to lie. It is, yeah. Um, so I'll do that one, and I'll do Spinning Strikes. Where do I have a Spinning Strikes? I don't like Spinning Strikes that much. Where do I have it? Damn, do I hate it that much? Damn. <laughs> What we'll do those two things? Character creation for Dragon's Dogma 2 is insane. Maybe the day after tomorrow we'll go do Dragon's Dogma. Anyway. Ready to pre-order it and have some characters created? We'll see. We actually might make content on the game if I actually like the first one. Because I haven't played the first one. So we'll see what that's like. Anyway, we're done for today. We are done. I kick only? No, we're not going to kick only. 
Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful night, day, morning, whatever it is. Thank you guys for stopping by. I um, hope you guys learned something about the Mogwin Sacred Spirit and how broken it is. Anyway, catch you guys around. Bye.